It's the Bob and Tom Show. There's a lady who's sure <laughs> all that glitters is gold. <laughs> and she's buying a stairwell to heaven. <laughs> when she gets there, she knows and will probably wind up destructing municipal property. <laughs> but I can be her best friend or, or, or a mean some bitch. <laughs> When a boy's mother dies, his mind ain't right. He gets rabbit in his blood and thinks about it running off. <laughs> so he'll stay off the road until his mother's in the ground. Because some men, you just can't reach. <laughs> have here is failure to communicate. <laughs> uh, Mr. Honeycutt, let me speak with the men. <laughs> men, as you can see, uh, we got Luke. <laughs> You run off one time, you're going to get yourself a set of chains. <laughs> you run twice, you get yourself two sets. <laughs> you ain't going to need no third set because you're going to get your mind right. <laughs> and I do mean right. <laughs> You go to get him, get him. <laughs> and as we wind down the dirt road, you want to take it off, you yell, take it off here, boss. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're going to spend the night in the box. No playing grab ass in the shower. Anybody call? Playing grab ass is gonna spend the night in a box. <laughs> and what we have here is failure to communicate. <laughs> I guess that's how you end it. Huh? I'm sorry, I was getting a beer out of the keg. That's right, it's a party. Really? It's the Bob and Tom Show. Get a little bracer, a little eye opener. Very exciting. Orange juice and a pale ale. Anything? Nope. Oh, that'd be like blue moons. Yeah, yeah, like a like a like a shandy. Yeah, I would yeah, say. Yeah, like, uh, sounds good actually. No, not for me. Well, you don't drink. You don't know. You might have one of those and immediately become a drunk. You don't know. <laughs> I, I can't drink orange juice. I love it so juice. much. You'd, oh, it's, oh, it's uh, the orange yeah, juice. Acidic. I don't yeah. like orange juice. Yeah, I don't like grapefruit juice. It makes me uh, Ooh, even you worse. You don't like grapefruit juice? Mm -mm. Oh, God. Oh, it's good. I like to take a half a grapefruit and rub it on uh, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. nipples. Hi, Christy. Good morning. Hi, She's over there at the news desk. There's uh, Pat. We'll clarify. Are your nipples or? Uh, either way. Whatever. Uh, whatever. You can lick your own I, nipples. I That's oh, interesting. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. It's quite a show. There's Josh Arnold. <laughs> hey. Did I say hi to Pat? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's Shave Dave Crosby. Hey. Some, uh, I like to keep a nice, uh, nice Do you have house? hair on your nipples? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Oh. It's a man. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. I've known women who had hair on their nipples. Oh, a stray a little, little hair every now and then. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Do they leave it there? Well, no, they, they, they tend to pluck them. They pluck them or cut them off. Kind of aggressive. No, a lot no, of times. It just uh, happens, Tom. Women, women with hair on their nipples, they don't, you know, they don't have a choice. They are, uh, you know, Italian. So it could be, <laughs> it could be groomed, perhaps. Oh, uh, you are so. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm I just love telling you. Hey, look, hey, if you want to have hairy nipples, lady, go for it, okay? 
Sure, I don't have to deal. I with know it. you've never actually come out and said this, but in my mind, here's Tom Griswold's perfect woman. All right, she weighs just a bit over a hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. okay. That's too too light. She's six feet tall. Mm -hmm. She has a house like my fist. A house, an ass like my fist. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, what, does that mean? Uh, what does that mean exactly? And totally a, hairy knuckle like that. I, and totally uh, hair free. Totally, uh, totally clean shaven, uh -huh. except for her eyebrows and her head. <laughs> Am I close? Are you a boob guy? That would need some adjustments. You like big good boobies? You know who he's attracted to? A precog from Minority Report. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He loves those. What are the names of the precogs? Aren't, isn't it like Stephanie and Tim? And I don't remember. I Samantha Morton. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. Well, uh, coming up, we have some very exciting news, especially in the world of sports today. What? I, I just don't. Oh, he's losing his mind over this non-story. He, he's done it again. Here we Which go. Which sport? Uh, well, there's a cool. There's a couple cool NFL stories. Nope. Um, women's college basketball and the WNBA are about to. Have well, that's a, gonna. That's gonna yeah. be fun. That's a fun story. There's a, uh, a kind of funny Jerry Jones <laughs> NFL story involving a paternity test. <laughs> I bet he doesn't think it's funny. Yeah, I bet not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I. Uh, not to mention his son, who works with him, has probably got a couple of things to ask. Uh, but I mean, there. His son's of, uh, you know, Jerry Jones is an old man, and so his son technically <laughs> is also an old man. What mm -hmm. would? Uh, okay, there's a paternity suit against Jerry Jones. This has been going on for uh, forever, yeah. forever. How old and, is a girl? Like 27, 27 or something? Yeah. It's kicked back into gear. So, but it, it gets to something that really bugs me. Stephen Jones is like 60. So would he be? Would he feel? Uh, betrayed by his father for him having another child and him not knowing, uh, Stephen not knowing about it? That. Or would he be like, yeah, go dad. I no, think or more, I think he's more like, oh, the money's oh, mine, get oh, out of here. Right. There, there's the, there's the, the fly in the ointment. Yeah. This cuts down on my inheritance? Yeah. I don't think so. He doesn't want to share. But here's what I don't understand. Okay. When people do these non-disclosure agreements and sign them mm -hmm. and they take the money and okay. then later on they come out and disclose everything, I, I don't see how that's legal. Oh, I know what happens. They uh, they change their mind. Yeah, but, but yeah, I, I don't get the lo loophole either. Yeah, how the yeah, hell? I don't, I don't care what your politics are. I think are, they have to whatever. pay the money back, don't they? No, you, if you the deal's a deal. If you it, say if you but say if you whatever break the it is, agreement, you have to pay the person back. You'd think that'd be the least yeah. that they'd have to do. Yeah, I would think they'd have, to, but they're not. They don't have the money to pay them back. That's the. Other it's thing. the one purpose of signing the NDA is to keep yeah your mouth keep shut it to yourself. If you agree, okay, I'm going to take these millions of dollars and not say anything. Right. And then you say something. I don't know if I'm the judge. You go to jail. I don't. I don't get it. I'm sorry. Well, the laws changed. I'm going to keep the money and yeah. screw you. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we'll see what happens. Um, we've got that story coming oh, up. Oh, and uh, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. It is March 1st. Yeah. Oh, Finally. And, and, and Pat, I, I forgot I, I have an idea for you. Okay. Remind me during the break. Uh, <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm, it's very exciting. Um, and uh, Why can't you remember it on your own? You're an adult. Because I'm busy. <laughs> Got things going on over here. And, All right. Okay, I, could, I suppose I could take the time to write it down. Um, uh, <laughs> we have a also coming up today. We'll have a Mr. Jeff Oskey in news we failed to mention. And I do not want to fail to mention that uh, Jeffrey will be on stage at the Ritz in Tiffin, Ohio, coming up on Saturday evening with Greg Hahn and Dave Dyer. Ooh. It'll be a great show. Yeah, Greg Hahn always just cheers me up. There's something about him. When he gets up there, he's so funny, and you just say, God, I'm so glad I came to watch him, and I'm sure glad I'm not him. You've said uh, <laughs> Greg Hahn's one of your favorite people. That's right. Yeah. Oh, it makes me, he makes me howl every time. Uh, he's so insane. Now, do um, you want to give me a teaser what you've got coming up? Well, we've got, uh, we're going to talk about the NFL Combine. That went on yesterday, and uh, really big people are running really, really fast. We had a couple of those yesterday. We will talk about the Cowboys and Jerry Jones and... Keeping it in his pants, or did he, or is this all, is this all some sort of um, cash grab? Uh, Tom, Tom Brady back in the I NFL. love this story. Uh, I know you my, do. That'd be my favorite this morning. I, I, I know you do. Hmm. You'd be quite surprised, Josh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Caitlin Clark is uh, going into the uh, WNBA. You know what is interesting about She's her? Decided. What? 
She's uh, real good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's very, very good. <laughs> she can make uh, three from uh, half court pretty much whenever she uh, she feels like it. She's very good. So, nice shot in the arm for the WNBA. There's a problem in Philadelphia with people not behaving themselves at sporting events. Yeah, what about it? What a, <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah. I, I can't get the, I want to be able to get the accent down. Philadelphia. Philadelphia, yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah, like I, I said I, before, I, what about him? I, I, don't, <laughs> I still don't have it down. I, 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 I love pretty that good. accent. Uh, this, and, and this problem should not be a surprise. Uh, no. It started with, what, nickel beer night with the Cleveland Indians many years ago. And, and wasn't it also that, bat night, or did that, I just that, dream that? Debacle. that debacle. Yeah. yeah, there are certain things. If you, you give them to people, think bad things may happen. Oh, what happened? Like in basketball, what an unfortunate thing to happen it on didn't... dozen egg night. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. God, that is such a good joke. Yeah. And didn't the Eagles fans used to put uh, nitrous in balloons? Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. In the parking suck, lot. suck on them during oh, the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a huge thing. Yeah. Is that still yeah. happening? Probably. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it is it illegal to hold? Uh, this is uh, Philadelphia Phillies in the news, Pat. Uh, right. Pat being a former uh, Philadelphian. Is yep. that, okay. And then we have um, a story that uh, I don't want to give much away, but it's 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 uh, something that I've been talking about for years, and uh, it, it's happened. And uh, all I can say is uh, pajamas. That's my only hint. You'll find out what I'm talking about coming up. Um, hmm. and there will be a song. I know that. I'm very excited <laughs> about that. Uh, but right now I want to talk about um, getting your life back in order. And the realm of food, you've had this conversation. Where do you want to go tonight? I don't know. Where do you want to go? doesn't matter to me. Let's go there. No, I don't want to go there. The, you know the conversation. How about oh, just yeah. go home yeah, and right. I sit in the den. How about that? Or you're going, well, what am I going to make tonight? Well, I've made that 50 times. I'm sick of it. How about um, getting uh, uh, cozy this winter and at the same time getting some great food? I'm talking about classic comfort food and uh, whatever kind of food you're into from HelloFresh. Here's how it works. HelloFresh uh, presents you with more than uh, three dozen options. By the way, you can swap the proteins, et cetera, et cetera. They do the grocery shopping. They have all the ingredients. It's all ready to go. They've got it all measured out. You put it together sometimes in just a few minutes, then pop it in the oven. Christy, what are you looking at over there? Well, this is for all of you who are really busy. The one pan, five-minute prep, 15-minute cook, and it's the barbecue pulled chicken tacos with creamy slaw and red onion. What family member wouldn't love this? And it's easy to make. All of the ingredients are listed. All of the pictures on the back, only four steps. And if you've got to run to a soccer game or something, this would be perfect on a busy weeknight for your family. Cheaper and faster. Faster than restaurant delivery, that's for sure. So choose the recipes you like. Check it out. HelloFresh wants you to try it. They want you to uh, kick your eating butt in the butt. What am I saying? You know what I'm talking about. Shaking up your life a little bit and having some fun. And uh, how about free breakfast for life as you keep that uh, subscription active from HelloFresh? Details on that will be found at HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That's one free breakfast item per box with an active subscription. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whatever you're into, HelloFresh has got something for you from uh, vegetarian stuff to low-cal to low carb to good old classic comfort food. So get what you like from HelloFresh. HelloFresh.com slash BT show free. Also coming up, uh, trouble in the world of, uh, and I know you've done this, Christy, glamping. Yeah. Which is, what does it stand for again? It's um, glamour camping. Glamour camping. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a problem. Uh, we're going to find out about that. Uh, uh, and we also have a, uh, gosh, I never get this word right. Is it centenarian? Yeah. If you're over 100 years old. Yeah. We, we got centenarian news when we come back. And some really cool stuff in sports. We're also going to replay part of our interview with Bill Burr that was oh, so fun. much fun yesterday. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24-7. Who else have you met with his voice that you do? Any, anybody else? I've met I've met everybody I do except for Denzel Washington. Hmm. He's the one I haven't met. Um, Is anyone upset by your imitation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks for bringing it up. Yes, Sorry. there's uh, where Kanye had a lot to say. <laughs> but he, oh, really? He's usually so sad. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, did you really count that of him being mad? Just, that was just him being Kanye. Yeah, that's Shannon dope. Sharp hates my impression. <laughs> he cannot stand it. I'm guessing because it's accurate. <laughs> you know, that... 
That's what I believe. I thought it would. I thought it would bite on. I thought it would make it. And you know the fact that Thannon doesn't like it is just offensive to me. But you know yeah. some people. I hear you. Some people just you know skip skip skip. Uh-huh. skip, skip. Some people just don't like mirrors. Skip. <laughs> and when you see the mirror, you say to yourself, "Do I really sound like that?" And I'm gonna be right there on the other side saying, "Yes, you do." <laughs> <laughs> Shannon hates it, man. It's it. everybody else. I haven't. And Ben Carson had a little bit to say, but, you know, he ain't popping. So, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? he, he, can, he can say whatever. I, I pretty much, that was like my that was like my, it was a character, pretty much. <laughs> he was sleepy. It wasn't sleepy even an man. impression. I did these little cat hands. <laughs> you know, right. the hand, with the hands like this, yeah. and I would turn my face, and so many people would ask me. They'd come to my shows. Can we do the Ben Carson pose? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is actually a thing. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think it was a thing, but so I got, so there's people sending me pictures, posing like this. Even somebody sent me a picture of their cat doing it. <laughs> their cat? There was, a, there was a picture of a baby. He was doing it. I was like, I did not know that this obscure impression had so much premise over you all. Uh-huh. I did not know that. Yeah, what's he, is, what is he, like, secretary of something? He may, he may be retiring. Yeah, he's something. He's, something. he's secretary of we, housing. We don't got to, yeah, yeah, you know. We got, <laughs> I'm just, let's get past him. We just, want him, we just want him to have, you know, something really something high profile so you can bring yeah. it back. Back. Oh, okay. I wish, man. You know, he just needs to go fill out an application and work at Arby's. I want to. <laughs> I want to parry you. Have a philosophy on uh, doing impressions of people who are no longer with us. Uh, do I? I, do, I mean, yeah. Okay can you that? do Taft? <laughs> <laughs> you William Taft. William Taft. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my FDR is pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> my sit. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, I right. definitely sit down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Teddy Roosevelt, but I do FDR. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has a back of a chocolate eclair. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of his famous quotes. <laughs> Jay Farrow is our guest. It turns and sways. Okay. Well, thanks for the call. Uh, have a great day today. We're going to move And I've got forward. one more thing. May I say one more thing? I, I I've guess. been waiting 20-some years for this. Is uh, <laughs> is everybody listening? Yeah, yeah we're yeah. listening. Uh-huh. Okay. Chick, go back 20-some years, 1998, Fort Wayne, Indiana, all weekend <laughs> with me. <laughs> what? There we go. Yes. Well, finally. Finally. I have. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay. Remember. And listen to this. You ordered. You or you went by your la- your real name oh, when you God. checked oh, in, and geez. you invited me for the weekend. Now wait. Oh God. I'm gonna get shot for this. And you ordered grapes and Miller Lite beer. Yeah, that sounds like me, all right. That's right. Yep, that's me, okay. Okay, Deborah, we got to go here. Christy, give me the teaser. (laughs) That couldn't have gone better. (laughs) Yeah. Somehow I blame you. (laughs) Ah, boy. Uh, Where do we go from here? After they set off the nerve gas bomb, <laughs> oh yeah, I said that goes on. Long after Michelle, Tony, and Egg are gone, little ditty about Jack Bauer was playing. Gonna whisper, then shout some, then whisper again. <laughs> Curtis, where are you? Tell me about Mr. Cooper. Tell me about Mr. Cooper. (laughs) Get in the chopper now. I said I wanted a cheeseburger. Morning laughter. (laughs) Just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and Tom Radio, 24-7. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. That's how you know you're too high. Greg Hahn is our guest. (laughs) I went out with this one girl. Can I say this? Sure. Get a load of this. I'm on a date. I was out with this girl. Here's what she says. It's true. She says, oh, I did something she didn't like. She goes, oh, you just lost some points. Oh, there's points involved. <laughs> it's a point system that the women have. It's a point system. Men, we don't know what's going on. All we know is it involves points, and all of a sudden, we're down. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my impression of her mother. <laughs> She's like, oh, you just lost some points. I'm like, really? How many did I start out with? <laughs> Don't ask any questions. You're just going to lose more points. Well, transfer my account to your younger sister. 
Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, this is Mike Birbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's time to tango. Oh, yeah. It's a free skate. Grab your partner and tango. I've heard it does take two, doesn't it? How do, uh, what is uh, the move for a tango? You look like a world-renowned dancer. You know all these moves, like the tango uh, yeah. and the fox rock. False. Um, Christy's the only one who's done any ballroom dancing. Oh, I'm back. I went back on Wednesday. Oh, you are uh, you were in a competition, right? Yeah, back in You lost, 2018. Though, right? You lost. You lost I did big lose. time. Big lose. Loser. Yeah. Doesn't mean I don't still enjoy doing it. Yeah. Christy's yeah. by far more knowledgeable than I am, but I, I, I need to beg your pardon. I, I, if you remember correctly, I taught ballroom dancing That's when exactly I was in high right. school. Taught? <laughs> yes, he did. Yes. What? Hang on, Tom. I'll take this. What? <laughs> you guys do, don't remember? How, how do I not remember this? Can you cha cha? Uh, at one time. Okay. Yeah. Who and, wants to was... see me and Josh cha cha? I do. Uh, right now. <laughs> Are you up to this I forget time? exactly what the steps are. Um, <laughs> a box steps, right? One, two, three. Well, I don't think you box step on cha-cha. Step, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha, oh. rock step, one, two, cha-cha-cha. Three. Okay, yeah, yeah, we absolutely yeah. did that. Sure. Yes. Ba, 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 ba. Rumba. Yeah. It was just fun, but I mean... I... Yeah, we all had to get dressed up on Friday nights. It was like a group of us from our from the show choir. <laughs> uh-huh. And then, oh, after, choir. And then yeah. after you guys got uh, done dancing, you went outside and uh, were beaten up by Tufts. Right? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. No? Really? Oh, you'd be surprised at the hooking up that occurred. No uh, kidding. Girls love a guy who can dance. Huh. And... Um, I remember one one fun night we all <laughs> <coughs> we all went and saw Mrs. Doubtfire after we had oh nice oh, laughed nice. and laughed oh, so <laughs> so you were what uh, 48, 49 years old when you went to high school and were, and you were a woman is that is that what happened no no we saw the film Mrs. Doubtfire no I know that's what I know middle age never mind well um uh, that's all well and good but we have some sporting news we have to get to very important stuff right. <sighs> It sounds, I, I'm, like, it sounds like that's what you want to do. I'm kind of excited you know, about it. Why don't you, why don't you, what What do you want to hear? I'll do exactly what you want. Um, let's hear the Tom Brady story. I like this very much. <laughs> I'd like to hear I it. think you'll like this too, Christy. <laughs> Are you ready? And I think, you know who would like this? Your, your, just your, use, your new husband. No, just use some common sense. I have okay? to admit I have Tom Brady's workout book. Tom Brady may be retired, but the 46-year-old former quarterback just broke his 40-yard dash time from the 2000 NFL Combine. Whoa. Wow. No, 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 no. Not n- whoa. He had a crappy time in 2000. Oh, is that what it is? And it's just an itty bit better now because he's made it, managed to stay in some sort of decent shape. He stays and in Tom's great shape. losing his mind. I love this no, story. I think it's a cool story. He's, he's faster now than he was when he was a... Barely. Proving that people can grow and continue to get better. Or well, the reason, there he goes, the, forty-six. Look at him. Or he uh, had a better. Boy, look at that form, huh? Oh, they have him side by side. Whoa. Well, he's not. Uh... <laughs> He never really ran that well. Brady was clocked at five point one eight and five point one two. Just recently, He's, there's a bunch 40. of reasons for this. First of all, he had to practice running from his ex-wife's divorce attorneys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> congratulations. And her new yeah. jujitsu boyfriend, who probably um, is. Hey, chick. Hey, chick. Yeah. I heard his Reebok pumps mm. were uh, deflated a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, they were. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they were. <laughs> You probably thought that had come from me, didn't you? <laughs> I heard he was uh, had a videotape of other runners. Stealing, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Spying on how they were running. Oh, yeah. Now, I say uh, when I hear that Tom Brady is now running faster than he did at the NFL Combine all those years ago, I say, your move, Peyton. What do you think? I don't think, uh, I, no, no, I don't think Peyton can run a 5.18. I don't think he ran a 5.18 at the combine. Yeah. <laughs> but is it usually the case if the quarterback's running something is wrong, by the way? Technically, yeah, kinda. didn't the play usually go wrong or they go, let's take our uh, $50 million a year guy and have him run, and run right at those huge guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and when, also, when, they, when they get him down the ground, you think his knees will snap in two? Also, the NFL will step in and go, hey, 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 hey. Mm. Let's not let's not touch the quarterbacks. Come on now. Yeah, doesn't he look? Get away from him. Slow. Oh when yeah, he's doing that. Yeah, he looks like a compared glacier. to like you're so used to seeing the other, like the really fast dudes. Well, but you know, also yeah. some of the linemen who are Penn State three hundred pounds or Penn State like uh, edge rusher chop 
Robinson. Oh, it's oh great. that is a great name. Uh, he's 300 pounds, 6'3", 300 pounds, 40-yard dash yesterday, 4.48. That's crazy. Uh, Alabama edge rusher Dallas Turner, 40-yard dash. Uh, he's up around 300 pounds, 4.46. A 40.5-inch vertical. Florida State defensive tackle Brandon Fisk with an E. Uh, 4.78, 40-yard dash. Now, Josh, uh, your best dash, uh, excuse me, your best dash time well, yeah, involves yeah, door dash. Mm. And, uh, oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was going to be door dash <laughs> or Mrs. Dash. I knew one of them. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't get a horse in there. What is my best door dash time? <laughs> Who do you call that gets, that gets, gets up there the quickest? <laughs> I've ordered door dash, and I am... There, there's. It's like the scene in Defending Your Life without Brooks when he orders breakfast. They bring it right back. He goes, "Well, this isn't mine. This was prepared for someone else. This can't be mine." <laughs> how did, how how did you make it, it so quick? fast? Yeah, it's it's, it's super quick. Do you have it's the same there. person all the time? No, no. Okay. Doesn't, I didn't know if they had roots. Was it, so Tom Brady's now faster than he was when he was a. Yeah, I can hardly get over it. Yeah. I think it's a fun story. <laughs> <laughs> do you have his? Have you ever? Uh, uh, do you have his underwear? Do you buy that? No, God no. Why? Why would he I buy that? He has his own underwear line? He has his own underwear yeah. and his own Lululemon-esque clothes. Oh. He has all the workout gear. Oh, really? Yeah, T I know he has his own electrolytes. TB something, yeah. right? Yeah, TB. I think, I think he should have a campaign where uh, there's a shot of him in his underwear and uh, advertise the fact that they uh, they wick the moisture. Yeah. So you won't get the Brady Bunch, and she'll like a big <laughs> yes gaggle of balls. A gaggle of balls. Do you have a gaggle of balls? I'm not sure. You've got yeah, a gaggle two. of geese. Wait a minute. Right? Uh, a yeah, of two geese. does not a gaggle make uh, oh. a, a pot of whales. Um, but no, 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 let's go back to how many balls you got down there. But you're uh, saying there, it's a gaggle. I, well, I said, do you suppose I? I have to wonder if there's some rich guy out there who uh, did not need to get an artificial uh, testicle. But it just had one added just because, you know, that that kind of guy. He's got the the big. What do mansion. you get the man who has everything? Yeah. Why would you do that? There's no reason to do. Oh, that. Well, I mean, perfectly healthy people with nice teeth get gold put over them. So yeah. why wouldn't you get, uh, yeah. you know, your An testicles? Extra yeah, no, your testicles encased in gold. Why not? Out. Yeah. Right. Oh, that would gold be. Mm, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you could have a jewel jewelry put in there. Yeah. People do. You feel that down in there? Oh, in your... I your thought sack? you meant in your teeth. I thought yeah. Josh was saying one day that you were going to get a little bell put in there so people could hear you coming. That's right, yeah. That's a warning. Uh, That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody put a bell on this guy. <laughs> I imagine that... Um, what's that called? The Prince Valiant? The Prince something? What is it? Prince uh, Albert. Prince the Prince Albert, Albert yeah. where they put some kind of jewelry down in the male member. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's got to be a terrible idea. Um, I imagine someone has one with bells on it. Sure. Probably. For just that reason. No, thanks. Well, yeah, yeah, that would be. Would that throw you off, Christy, if you yeah. uh, heard a bell? And, yes. Um, hmm, I'll <coughs> be would. there with bells on. How about Literally. Prince <laughs> Albert? Does that throw you off? I've never encountered that in my Remember the, adventures. Were you, weren't you here the day the guy came well, in? Well, I saw that one, but I mean. The guy came in here and insisted Josh? on showing it to us. Yes. John, yes. There was yeah. a guy. We were talking about it on the air, and this guy comes in. He just. Drove uh, up to the door. <laughs> wonderful guy. <laughs> Nice enough. He comes in. He sits down. Yeah. Goes well. You want to see it? Pulls his pants yeah. down and shows us there his wife. There it was. And it was uh, it was it was pierced. A little yeah. barbell in there. Wow. Little barbell in there. Okay. It was really something. He uh, peed like a water wiggle. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, Christy uh... slid right off her chair. No, it was wild. I did not. No, no. So th this guy just showed up. <laughs> yeah. He called. <laughs> you let him in. Oh, he called. Okay. He called. Oh, yeah. and said, Hey, you guys want to see yeah. one? And then it yeah, was a different time. Right. Those were different times. Yeah. They, they, they went through channels, and we let the guy in. Gotcha. Uh, security, uh, let him in. Uh, I'm sorry, what else is happening in sports? Uh, Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has been ordered to take a paternity test as part of a legal dispute. A 27-year-old woman claims Jerry, the billionaire, is her biological father. A judge rejected an appeal from Jones of a 2022 ruling in a paternity case brought by Alexandra Davis, who previously alleged in a separate lawsuit that she was conceived from a relationship Jones had with her mother well, this, in uh, the mid-'90s. There's already proof that he, she's not his daughter. Her last name's Davis. <laughs> uh, oh case closed. You know what? You should be in the Supreme Court. <laughs> it's right here in front of it's all of them, and you're the one who caught it. Man. Attorneys for uh, Jerry Jones, who's 81, are challenging the constitutionality of the Texas law 
Oh, well, if we're going to yeah. talk about Texas laws, woo! Yeah, I'm sure that Mr. 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 Jerry Jones' attorney is going, well, fellas, uh, I filed this brief here that has your front row seats. For, this is, <laughs> yeah, and go Cowboys. In, and, and your, in, yeah. your, your box. Isn't me. there a pretty uh, accurate test? That could give us the answer immediately. Well, yep. keep, his, re keep reading. It his is. attorneys are challenging if it's constitutional for Texas to compel people to take genetic oh, testing for God's to determine but, their and, parents. In Mr. Not. Jones' defense, he has apparently given this woman millions of dollars already. Then so he just, obviously yeah, is the dad. Then he knows something. He knows he's the dad. But there was a. Why can't this be on Maury? Or there was a, a, there was a contract oh, here. Keep reading. There was a settlement already. In 2022, Davis sued uh, Jones, asking a judge to avoid a legal agreement. She said her mother, Cynthia Davis, oh, red pepper hot, <laughs> reached with Jones two years after she was born. Oh, uh, okay. so All she right. had nothing to do with that. The settlement uh, called for Jones to pay Cynthia Davis $375,000 and for Alexandra to receive a certain monthly, annual, and special funding from a trust until she was 21 as well as lump sum payments when she was 24, 26, and 28. Attorneys for Jones say Alexandra Davis has received million... Attorneys for Jerry Jones say Alexandra Davis has received millions of dollars from Jones in her lifetime. Huh. <clears throat> but, you see... She wants more. She wants... The more? Guy, the Dallas Cowboys are worth what? Twelve billion or something? Aren't they, uh, aren't they considered just the second? Sold for north of six billion. Is, so. I thought the Cowboys were considered the most valuable. Dallas franchise. would probably right around ten billion. I would think. Yeah. So. Uh, and he bought them for three hundred million back in the late eighties, early nineties, something like that. Yeah, that's quite a return on your. But my point is a different one. And, um, I understand what you're saying. If if there was an agreement. But the young lady didn't make the agreement. Her mother did. Hmm. That's where they would have probably right. have a loophole. So it's, my mom made this agreement. I didn't have anything to do with it. Now she's of age where she's going, hey, wait a minute. That's not fair. It's not fair to have been given $3 million or whatever it is. But it's not fair that she didn't make the agreement and she, she wants to be a part of the family. Yeah, is there a chance she just wants a dad? She doesn't really care yeah. so much about the money. Uh, I'll take that one. No. Wait a minute. What, what, what's your question? She just wants a dad. Yeah, not the and money. And she really doesn't care about the money? She says, hey, man, why don't you be a part of my life? Yeah. <laughs> you just, don't think. Just, <laughs> just acknowledge me. Hmm. Send me a card on my birthday. Yeah. Well, I also think, she, I think the reason Jones is opposed to this is because... She doesn't think Dak Prescott's any good, <laughs> and she wants him to. He's not going to hear that, yeah. yeah he, he, you say that in front of him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe she's in love with Dak Prescott. Who knows? Let's go out with him. How about that? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand, though. These When you make these agreements, I thought they had to stick. So, but, uh, You'd think so. I agree with that, but the agreement wasn't made with her. That's what they, they probably sign. found a way of some wiggle room. Right. She I did assume, not sign that. I would assume they'd thought of that and put something in there about that, too. Well. But if it's true <laughs> that she received millions of dollars, couldn't she be gentlemanly about it, if you will, and saying, well, he's really done, you know, a lot of things You'd think for me. But even why? if she is the natural daughter, that doesn't necessarily mean she would inherit the team. No. Yeah, she's an adult. and No, uh, yeah. Steve, not, Steve not is, child he, he could make in his will the team goes to the sure. son, whatever. So why is he this make a big it deal? A, he can make it in his will. It goes to uh, the uh, fan of the year from yeah. 2025 if he wants. <laughs> right. I, don't know. I need to uh, see a picture of her and uh, Jerry Jones beside each other and see uh, if they're... I think she, if she looks anything like Jerry Jones. She, she just wants in, a couple hugs. She's in big trouble. So, uh, okay. so has nothing well, to do with no, money. Jerry Jones. Thank you very much. How oh, old is Jerry Jones? <laughs> 82, 81? 81. Something around there. Roger Daltrey's 80 today. Do it, isn't that amazing to think about? You don't. I think of Roger Daltrey as being young and Jerry Jones as being this real old, frail man. You know, Roger Daltrey's Roger a real badass. Daltrey. I bet he's a real badass. You know, you, he's... How did we get out in these weeds? Oh, no, 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 no. Roger told you, he told you in his beat downs his books, but Roger would go up to people and punch them in the face. He was a real street fighting guy. There you guy. go. Uh, Bring it, Raj. Okay. And a great singer. Yeah. You really? might beat me up, but I'll die trying, okay? <laughs> I'll bite your ankles. I'll... <laughs> right. More sports coming up, including uh, Caitlin Clark is uh, going to be playing at a uh, WNBA team near you next season. Maybe very close, to, especially to some of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got... Uh,
emails covering Tom's idiosyncrasies that people are enjoying. They found one? Uh, there are so many. There are so many and varied. It's hard to actually focus <laughs> on just one. Uh, and we have an email from someone in Montana. Wow. Let that sink in for a while. Okay. Wait, you don't think they have the internet in Montana? Uh, that's the first time hearing about it. I can tell <laughs> At you Arby's that. in Montana, do they call that one sandwich just the big here? <laughs> Fair question. Can I have a big here? Mm -hmm. I've heard that called, uh, that's a uh, uh, an insult for a woman who's uh, possibly uh, bigger than she should be. A big, big Montana? Montana? And they call her the big Montana really? roast beef sandwich. Oh. oh. They go all the way. <laughs> that's a little rough. Well, I, I went all the way. Is it rough or is it juicy? Or maybe is it? Means it's good. In, in, right, or I, is it incredibly descriptive? Yeah. Uh, I see. I see. Um, well, let's... Uh, here comes uh, Big Montana. Uh, also coming up, we're going to feature some of our interview with Bill Burr. It's hanging out. I know Mr. Godwin has a couple oh. of songs. We'll soon look forward hey, to Hey, wait, wait. Did you get engaged last night? I could sing about it for you if you'd like. Okay, we'll, we'll come back. Oh, Maybe we'll do that coming up. I'm, I'm looking forward to that, certainly. Right now, the Bob and Tom Show, sponsored by BetterHelp. A lot of us spend a lot of time going, I wish I had more time. If you had that extra hour in your day, what would you do? Read a book, go uh, to the gym. Take a nap, maybe. Go visit some friends. Stare. stare watch at the TV. Wall. Uh, how about squeezing in something that's going to help your head out? I'm talking about uh, therapy. And BetterHelp has a better idea, uh, a way to access therapy that's a lot simpler, taking advantage of contemporary technology. What I'm talking about is the Internet, of course, by going online. And the way it works is you fill out a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist, one of more than 25,000 therapists involved in this project. You can switch therapist anytime, no additional charge. And how it works is once you're hooked up with that therapist, the therapy itself is done online. So you don't have to get in your car and drive to the office and go there, sit there, look at that. No, it's all online. And it can be in the form of um, like one of those FaceTime calls or Zoom calls, or it could be just talking back and forth like you're on the phone, or it could even be texting back and forth, whatever works for you. That's what it's all about, flexibility and making uh, you a priority in your head. So um, make some time for what makes you happy. By checking out BetterHelp, you can visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today, and you'll get 10% knocked off that first month. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Find out what's making you happy with BetterHelp. Now, uh, coming up also, we have um, a really disturbing story coming out of Germany. Um, I, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, it's uh, trust me, it, it's it's it'll be it'll be worth the wait. And have you ever wondered why human beings don't have tails? Mm. Scientists just figured it out. It's really interesting. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be just keeping yeah. me up nights. Yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah, well, the you know, flies really bother me a lot. I could. Do you know there are tail. people that <laughs> augment themselves and put a tail back? Sure. On? What? Yes. Didn't human beings kind of used to have tails? Yes. Yeah. Well, we're going to find out what they've discovered. And they're bringing them back. Mm. Would you like one? Um, yeah, I'd, put, I'd, I'd augment myself with a tail if it would help the show. So sure. Really? You got a nice coccyx? Um, no, no, that's in the back. Oh. Okay, I'll when we, when we, when we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Welcome to the wildly successful Mr. Obvious Show. <laughs> I'm your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Hello, Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. Hi, Mr. Obvious. Uh, Long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, just want to say, uh, first of all, I really love your show. Really enjoy listening to it. I think you do a great job. Well, kind words indeed. And thank you, caller, for calling the Mr. Uh, Obvious Show. No, Mr. Obvious? Yes. Uh, here's my problem. Oh, Okay. Well, the thing is, uh, I think I got some kind of animal uh, trapped in my house. Oh, yeah, like a pest problem or something? Yeah, uh -huh. um, well, it's, it's even bigger than that. Uh, I think it's some kind of critter that's trapped down uh, underneath my sink somewhere. Oh, my. Now, do you live in a rural section of town? Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, uh -huh. I live on the outskirts of town here, and... Uh, 
well, here's the thing. I think it's caught underneath my sink, and I've opened the doors and, and my cabinets there and looked underneath, and I can't find it anywhere, but I can hear him down there making noise. Oh, you say you got a critter and you can hear him. Now, what what yep. kind of sound does he make, caller? Um, well, it's kind of a growling, kind of a, uh, well, I'll try to imitate it for you. It's kind of like... <laughs> like uh huh. This is under your sink in your kitchen. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you might be caught down there in the pipes. <laughs> now, this is not uncommon for your uh, rurally located homes to have a raccoon or a possum uh, under the house. Now, but you say he might be stuck in the pipes? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Because, uh, in fact, I think that's how he's living there. Uh, he seems to eat stuff that my wife throws away down the sink after dinner. She'll, <laughs> she'll wash the leftovers down the sink uh, after we get done eating. I think that's what he's eating because I can hear him down there growling and uh, chewing. Huh. What was the sound again, caller? Well, it's uh, she'll put the stuff down there in the sink and run the water, and then uh, you can hear him is kind of going... <laughs> kind of like that. Huh. Now, is there anything else that corresponds with the, uh, the growling that your wife does there in the kitchen? Huh. Um... Well, it, it does seem like uh, it usually happens whenever she tries to turn a light on. <laughs> there is a thing. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, there's a light switch there. She'll try to turn it on. Uh, uh -huh. thing is, light don't come on. Uh, uh -huh. I, I, I think the light bulb must be burnt out or something, but I can't even find a place to change the light bulb on it. <laughs> anyway, she'll try to turn that light switch on, and uh, you can hear him down there just... Um, Seems to make him mad as anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is in the kitchen under the sink, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, I, I, I figure he's caught in the pipes. Right. So I figured I'd try to get him out of there. Uh -huh. Well, I reached down there with my hands when I heard him growling. Uh -huh. And I mean, that thing about ripped my fingers off. It did to me. Boy, it hurt. Well, I think I know what your problem is, caller. It's, uh, it's a garbage disposal. So, uh... Uh, is that uh, something something like a raccoon? No, caller. It's uh. No, it's something something littler, like a uh, like a mouse. <laughs> no, caller. It's a machine that's hooked to your uh, your drain pipe there under your sink that chews up uh, uh, food that uh, makes it rinse right down the pipe there. It's an actual machine. It's not an animal at all. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I never made the connection. You just get rid of the garbage. There you go. Sounds like a critter. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know. I know, yeah, it's not a critter. It's a... Thanks for calling, though, caller. Mr. Obvious? Yes. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Uh, that'll do it for this week's show. Uh, thank you, and uh, good luck uh, from everyone here on the Mr. Obvious Show. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. She says, fine. She takes off her panties. She throws them over to Murray Whiskey. She says, you put those on. He tries. She says, you made me do it. You've got to do it. He says, okay. So he tries to get them on. Can't do it. He says, I can't even get these past my thighs. He says, I can't get into these panties. She says, yeah, and until you change your attitude, you're not going to either, partner. <laughs> <laughs> A true tale from the Old West. That concludes another exciting episode. Uh, Murray, Murray Whiskey, Whiskey. Whiskey. Frontier, Frontier Pyromaniac idiot. over here. What are you, <laughs> you're lighting up the studio? Yeah, Bob? this thing, it's not working. Uh, I'm sorry. Nothing. Uh, just... Brought to you by that new Japanese Jewish restaurant, Sosumi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Murray. Bob and Tom, 24 7. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you just ruined it. <laughs> I was playing in uh, in Miami, and RuPaul was real big at the mm -hmm. time, and, and a lot of the staff was gay at the uh, club, and they were going to go at like three in the morning to this huge gay bar to see RuPaul, and I was like, all right, I'll go, and uh, so I go down there. I mean, it's, it's like two thousand people. <laughs> 
and mostly gay men. And I'm sitting there by the uh, record machine, uh, and uh, and the ugliest guys there hit on me. I mean, ugly pimples, fat guys. I'm like, you well, know what? You gay bro. people drink too. <laughs> You were at two in the morning pool, man. <laughs> man, he looks good. Just the fact that you went, okay, I'll, I'll go. go. <laughs> when grandfather dies, life will be strange. When grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> And then I, I figured That's I didn't need to write anymore. Hi, this is Kostaki. Rue off this. <laughs> welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, he goes up from home. Here's Tom. It's a clock. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hi, it's a Tom. Um, uh, we, we have uh, Mr. Pat Godwin through the glass. I can see him in there. <laughs> Hello. And, I can uh, see him in there. Uh, now, Pat, uh, yesterday was uh, an unusual day. It was the uh, 20, 29th of February, yes, thus the leap the, the leap day uh, kicked in, and uh, we found out about the Irish tradition in which the woman is allowed to ask the man uh, for his hand in marriage. That's correct. Fascinating, and... and uh, <laughs> I uh, we know that you are in a uh, adult relationship. Almost two years. Isn't that cool? God, that's amazing. Very cool. She's great. Oh, man, yeah. the clock and, is up. Right? Uh, I know. Gee, man, the question crazy. was, uh, did anybody get down on one knee yesterday? Yeah, did, did she propose? Yeah. So uh, she did not. My very uh, go-getter girlfriend had did other things yesterday. Okay. She did not propose. Was she was she aware of the? Uh, she was. I made her painfully aware of the it. The, 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 <laughs> the 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 door is open. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. And she had other things to do. She did. Well, my, that says a lot. My successful <laughs> girlfriend. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you when you marry someone, do you, do you take on their debt? Yeah. Oh, really? You do? Yeah. Like, you oh, oh yeah. hell yeah. That's one of the hell reasons. Yeah. <laughs> there is. Some people don't. Huh? Yeah. There is, uh, yeah. and then some of them uh, sneak up on you uh, five or six years later. My point is, there is something you can do, actually, but uh, I'm not mm. sure. Like a prenuptial agreement some people lose, or something. Like, the, like a, a woman will lose the pension of their yeah. dead husband, that kind of thing. That's why they don't married. get married. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is complicated. Uh, but So you were not well, asked for your hand, minutes on this. Your hand no. in marriage? Oh. I was not asked for my hand in marriage yesterday. Oh. Did, you, did you have a? Did you write a song? Yeah, I have an update for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Here's what she did. My girlfriend Paula closed on her house on leap day. On leap day. She played tennis with a few of her fancy chatty friends <laughs> on leap day. She says she'll need some kind of prenup. If we got married, she'll have to lawyer up. So we just stayed boyfriend and girlfriend on leap day. <laughs> <laughs> on leap day. Leap day. That was yesterday. <laughs> so yesterday. She didn't marry me. Did you at least get laid? I did not. Oh. What a sad day. How oh, high her girlfriends. <laughs> we masturbated. Oh. <laughs> Turned into creep day. <laughs> okay, thank you. Creepy, 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 creepy. Okay, very, very good. Well, uh, mm. We'll have to do some research on that. In the meantime, we return to the sports. No, uh, research on what? I'm just sort of holding you accountable to the nothings that you throw out. <laughs> yeah, this, no, no, no. There, there's, there's absolutely nothing to this no, story no. about Leap Day and women asking men to marry them. Oh, there, that's, it's uh, a non-story. Well, that's profound. It was uh, no, the, the uh, profound. Uh, hearing full of page, it. New York Times, Wall Street Journal, oh. Washington Post, L.A. Yeah. Times. Oh, I saw them all. Sure. Well, uh, so you're asking people, hey, if you got... Engaged yesterday because the the lady asked the guy. But there's like nothing to, to it. it. There's nothing to it. Yeah, wait a minute. What they could her? ask him on Halloween too. Did your they girl could... ask you? But the if if, yeah. if it was legally binding, 
and they had to do it, that would be kind of a story. I think you heard from the song yesterday that if the woman asks the man <laughs> and he says no, a leprechaun uses his sack as a speed bag. <laughs> I think we made that quite clear. That, that is bad luck. And by the way, uh, did your uh, significant other ask that's you? That's right. That's what I'm asking. She was out of town. It doesn't matter. Oh, she could have out called of the you. Country. No, nice it has to be in person if you know the legend. It has oh, to be in person. On, one, her, knee, on well, one knee in person. Wasn't her birthday this week? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and was she? Uh, and how did you two uh, celebrate? Well, she was out of town. <laughs> so, uh, that's interesting. She had a you nice know what I want for my birthday? <laughs> to be away from you, <laughs> totally and completely. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a state away, a country. <laughs> I need a pass. Yeah. I, <laughs> as far as you know, yeah, I'm in the Bahamas. It's really hard to check. <laughs> You see her today in Target with a fake mustache. <laughs> oh, I'll have a bag of popcorn, please. <laughs> oh, here's a happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Oh, that was, right. It was very that's sweet. Right. That's, sweet. that's what you that, said to her. That was day. sweet. Yeah. I got her something nice when she was down there. She'll I have no doubt. A little surprise. Something that showed up at the hotel. Oh, what yeah, you mean? it what showed you up at the hotel 24 hours late, but it, it showed up. Uh, it's the Bahamas. But you, uh, you uh, pulled all the strings, made it happen, paid a local boy to go over there. A day late? On the no, 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 no. Just arrived in the evening. It oh. was supposed to get there. All right. That's, that's fine. That's right. fine. I'm sure she loved it. It's all good. Um... Now, let's uh, move forward here Happy in life. birthday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I, I didn't... So, it, so if, if Pat... If you did get married, Pat, you'd have the, all those, uh, you know... You would, like, call up the pawn shop and get get all the stuff back. They're all back. <laughs> okay. All back okay. Right. Is that right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Back to work. Back is better. More gigs. And all right. Stuff out, of, stuff out of hock. This yeah. is the year of God one, baby. It right? is. It's going to be a long way to fall, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why are you so <laughs> negative? <laughs> Look it up. It's not me. It's oh, a, my it's goodness. It's life. Next. What do we got? <laughs> <laughs> Quick times yesterday in the 40-yard dash uh, in Indianapolis at the uh, NFL Combine for Edge Rushers. Dallas Turner of Alabama, about 300 pounds, 4.46. Give her Edge, Chick. Uh, I have not. Mm. I, um, well... Edge your yard? Maybe. No. no. Maybe I know. Yeah. It's kind what of a newer it? thing. I, I know. Well, I'd, like to, to, I'd like to try it. seems to have popped up in the last five years or what so. You, are you, what are you talking on, about? Is this some porno thing you're talking it's about? A kind, yeah, yeah. It's a process yeah. of uh, delaying. Delay. Right. Oh. You get yourself uh, almost there, and then you just stop. And Putting then, it off. And then, you, over you, again. then you'd start that whole process oh, again. Oh, so you go right. to the edge. So, yeah, yeah. No, you use edge shaving foam. The gel. Do you Some remember made? when that? Remember that when that was, came came yeah. out? It was yeah. a huge deal. It went on green and then it went white. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. A gel I, to a phone. I couldn't Oops. wait to start shaving, and now I hate it. But still, <laughs> oh, oh, I, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, now, um, uh, what else is happening? Here are the uh, fastest times uh, ever for forty yard dash. Wide receiver John Ross, uh, who's uh, was a Bengal, and now he's out of the league. He ran a four point two two at the combine. Uh, back in 2017. However, the legend goes, Tom, that the fastest 40 yard dash ever is without a doubt among those who know, Bo Jackson ran a 4.13 40 yard dash. <sighs> and the reason they don't know is they didn't really have accurate ways to time when Bo came out and they oh. get together and See, he, he, he seemed he to be inhuman when I was in junior high. Do you high. remember? I just every, we, we've all seen the when he was playing baseball where he catches a ball and runs up the wall like Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. You've seen this. Yeah, and cool. then he runs right back down the wall and goes into the dugout and gets ready to bat. <laughs> <laughs> like it would nothing. Wow. He was the, he's probably the closest. Shaq is the closest thing to a giant we'll ever experience. And Bo Jackson is the closest thing to a real-life superhero we'll ever experience. We'll ever mm. see. Well, that's nice. Mm. Uh, no, if they if they dropped you from a plane, <laughs> would the would you get the first just, forty yards? I, no, would, I was just sitting still... here. I think my fastest forty yard dash senior year six two two twenty as hard as as hard as this counter yeah. baby. I was ready to go. Second string. I was known for my comedy relief. Mm. Uh, I ran like a four eight nine that's four. Impressive. Nine. That's, nine. Really that's really like good. That. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But and, and uh, once again, the big story this morning: Tom Brady ran a uh, faster time 
We need a we yesterday need a, than he ran when he was. A, we need a disclaimer that when you think uh, that a big story is a big story, yeah, and we yeah. all all of us I disagree. Just think it's fun. Well, that's good for you. That's it, 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 just a fun story. You know, Daryl Green for a long time, Washington Redskin and uh, fastest man in the NFL. I believe he ran a four five or four six man. when he was fifty years old. Mm. <laughs> Again, drop me, from, from, drop me from a play in the first yeah. 40 yards would be longer than that. Yeah. Uh, well, when we come back, we have uh, other exciting things in the world of sports. Uh, big story out of the WNBA and college, ladies college basketball. And a truly horrific story in the news uh, that I'm very excited about uh, coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a... Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. My, my favorite news story of the year today. Yogi in disguise. Uh, Christy, can I just read you the headline? Because this really is mostly about you. <laughs> I know exactly where you're going with this. I you, know, you know what exactly stories? what story. It involves bass players. That's all it, he's going to yes, have to say. Yes, it involves a scientific study yes. of bass players. Yes. And uh, this is the, the over greatest under, story. The over-under on a, a, a musicians Christie's dated. I'm going to go 12. Over dated? Under. Dated. Oh, by dated, he's, va you know, it's kind of a vague. No, 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 one date, not necessarily. Well, Ace uh, is back there giggling. Over, under, 12? <laughs> over, under, 12. Ooh. Should I take the over? <laughs> <laughs> no, now I have to Just think about day. it. Yeah, think about it. Put, pen, think put okay. pen to paper. But base players in the news in a very <laughs> positive way. What do you define as dating? Uh, yeah, watch out. my, watch my, oh, you see this, this finger? <laughs> Don't do and that. No, no, that's not a date. That's no. not a date. Wait, oh, so we're not talking bedded? That's not a date. Thank you, Josh. No, we're not talking Dated. bedded. I'll okay. say so. Uh, uh, an intimate encounter in the back of a car is not a date. I'm no. going to say no. And I'm I've never say, had that, to be honest with you. You rode somewhere. Hang on a second. W in the car with him, and he was driving. Okay. That's a date. You have never had any kind of an intimate encounter in an automobile or a truck. Uh, not oh. in the back seat. <laughs> ah, I, I, Your Honor, I, I rest my case. And under uh, the, the categories uh, are the defense, potpourri. Uh, the defense rests. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to call Mrs. Christie Roadhead Lee to the stand, please. No, no. <laughs> well, you can do more in the front seat than that. Uh, famous America. Uh, once again, uh, truck bed uh, sex. I rest my case. <laughs> Glad that we're back. I just suffered through six minutes bum, of bum, bum, Josh bum, and Christy bum. shopping for candles. No, we weren't. Not you quite. weren't even paying attention. Yes, and then Josh. Goes, I've got a coupon. No, we were looking for an avocado tool. Yes. New tool. tool. You know what? Oh, I'm yes. Sorry. I we do have a coupon. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? He goes, I'm going to go to Bed Bath and Beyond today because I have a coupon. And he'll get a coupon. I'm going to get, get, get candles and an avocado tool. Yep. What are going to have a pennant, a t shirt? <laughs> what kind of candle are you getting? What, fla what flavor candle are you looking for? I like pumpkin. That's uh, oh, now's a good time for that. Yeah. Good time of year. I had object, but I happen to have Do you ever a go into a candle <laughs> myself, so I, end of my objection. Do you ever go into a store and pick up something, and you don't really look at the price, and you take it up at the register, and they go 101.98, and you go, 
What? What? <laughs> uh, I 101 did that. 98? I, I went, I bought two candles. You know those two little wooden candles I have on the kitchen? Yes. Table? Those are 50 bucks a piece. No kidding. I mean, I, <laughs> I well, couldn't the, believe That's why off the air I asked Christy, why are candles $95? Yeah. And oh. I said, plus people are stupid enough to and pay. And being it. a media darling, I couldn't say, well, I just <laughs> need to put this back. Yeah. I'd rather not pay $50 for a candle. But I said, nah, I'd wipe my butt with 20s. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> boy. I know, was it an anatomically correct uh, phallic candle of some sort? Yes, I could use it to aid my masturbation. That's right. <laughs> oh, I should probably use Something from the Liberace. Uh, <laughs> Christy, to answer your question. <laughs> what was my question? Yeah, uh, you, uh, when you guys were you. talking about avocados, uh, you asked if there was an avocado vodka. Um, um, 10 best avocado drink alcohol recipes. Oh. Uh, there are, uh, right. yes, uh, you something can make called avoca avocado. Uh, I'm vodka. sorry, what? <laughs> Ava avocado, avoc too, Tom. No. I think Chick I does also. Avocado. That's, that's, that's a Russian bluegrass band. <laughs> no, <Not> avocado. <laughs> avocado, no, you no, a, we've That's a Genesis song. <laughs>
Uh, well, thank you, Jake. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very that's kind right. of you. That is it? kind of you, Jake. And, and that leads to a nice little intro. My therapist says I have a, a fear, a phobia of getting married. Really? He said, you know what your symptoms are? I said, can't say I do. Can't say I do. <laughs> can't say I do. <laughs> that's certainly a symptom. Uh, yeah. You see, he can't say, quote, unquote, I, I do. do. That's, that's a pretty good joke. Yeah, that's very nice. That's uh -huh. Yeah. That's there not... you go. Start the music. Oh. Uh, oh, here we go. Who's the yeah. man with a deep I got to do one. Chick Bucky. Here he is with his joke of the day. Do you know uh, dogs can't operate an MRI machine? Mm. Is that right? Uh, but cats scan. Oh. <laughs> that was Chip yeah! That was okay. That was, yeah, I liked it. It was good. It's very nice. Cat scan. Kind of amusing. Nice. Amusing. <laughs> yes, I say. Charming, really. I say really quite, quite amusing. Uh, spot on. Yes, spot on. Yes, yes, yes. I say. You know what Happy goes birthday, around. baby. <laughs> a little bit of fun. Birthday, baby. Now, are we return to the sports page? <laughs> Iowa basketball star Caitlin Clark announced that she will leave the Hawkeyes after this season and enter the WNBA draft. Why should she leave it? She's 22 years old, <laughs> wrote on social media, while this season is far from over and we have a lot of more goal, a lot more, a lot of more goals to achieve. <laughs> It'll be my last one at Iowa. Clark still has one more year of eligibility because uh, I think it's the COVID uh, year that everybody got. She's expected to be the top pick in the draft on April 15th. Tax day. Ah, uh, on my mother's birthday. Bummer. Really? Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Well, it's planned Don't for get that day, right? Don't get sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> you know what's coming. Uh, the Indiana <laughs> Fever. <laughs> Does. You know, it must be nice that uh, <laughs> your mom and her birthday coming up. That uh, okay. she, good, got, goodness yeah. knows what she's going to get for her birthday. When this is because, over, I've got to go. Because her husband is incredibly rich. Oh. oh, I see why you're confused. No, his name is, is his name is Rich. He's oh. not actually oh, rich. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes I mean, they're fine, right. but they're, yeah. yeah. And w didn't you say that they were, uh, at one point last week, <laughs> they were driving around in central Florida? Isn't that right? Okay, now this is where Tom starts paying attention and I stop. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, your your mom and uh, your mom and her husband were driving around. Were they in the Sanford area? I, they may have been. Yeah, yeah. Were, were, were they heading toward the toward the coast? You know, they were. They the, wanted the to see space the space coast. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they stopped in Deland. Deland. Yeah. Why did they call it Deland? It's not too far from Deceit. <laughs> <laughs> now we're being punished. Oh, you know what? You, you deserve that. Hang I'm on being, a second. I'm being texted. My mom says, "Leave me out of this." <laughs> <laughs> I need to compliment you. Your enthusiasm has never waned. You're still just a fresh-faced, enthusiastic, DeLand joke-telling mom. You know, we, all, we all know enough. Well, i just like to say... Hello, yeah! Oh, well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Caitlin Clark, April 15th. The Indiana Fever, who have the first pick, indicated on social media shortly after Clark's announcement that, yes, they do intend... To make her the first pick. Is this a surprise that she's going to go to the WNBA? No. This is Somewhat. Like, this is like the the lead kid in the musical declaring he's gay. I mean, we all knew. <laughs> what? What are you <laughs> drawing? Odd. What? What? <laughs> simile are you trying to draw? Well, you know, the guy in musical theater, like, I mean, you, oh my! I God. was in musical theater, I also, and I'll have you know, I have yet to come out. I mean, uh, I I'm not gay. You know what? It's worse than I thought. <laughs> No, she could have stayed at Iowa and, and still uh, made some money. Actually, I I see. I think she has um, she a, a couple of ho hospitals or something. She well, makes that's nice. That's good for she her. owns a couple hospitals. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. Well, that's insane. She's and, young uh, for that. And, uh, I have a, a car dealership. <laughs> what would happen if? Um, could, for example... What uh, happened if she had really long arms? No. What would happen? Could the, <laughs> say the Detroit Pistons draft her? Oh, God. Oh, boy. You mean in the NBA? There yeah. we go. Play it. Didn't Play that it. happen? Like Ann... <laughs> Is that Ann Myers? Yeah, somebody look up Ann Myers. I somebody think. look up Ann Myers. Wait, was she it the was, Pistons? She was drafted by an NBA team, and then well, Pistons aren't doing well right now. No, they're a rough year. Mm. Well, actually, yesterday they became uh, for the first time this season they don't have the worst record in the there league. There you go. But still, I mean, what do you think of that? Do you, would um, she? Do you think she could try out for one of the NBA teams? <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be a, quite a story. Clark. Yeah. Be <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, there's you know a song what? about the Pistons, Chick. Uh -huh. I, uh, Is that right? Yeah, let's, let's give this a listen. Let's try it out for the... A little, little Timmy Cavanaugh. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Detroit Pistons, former champs of basketball. <laughs> I have so many souvenirs. Oh, it's hard to hey. list them all. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, I have piston pants. What? I have piston shorts. <laughs> I have piston beer mugs. Sometimes people don't even notice. <laughs> I have piston ashtrays. I have piston shoes. I have piston basketballs. When, when I, I dribble, they do too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now, that's a version I like. <laughs> Kate Lynn became the all-time lady women's scorer this week and is on the verge of, she's edging, becoming the all-time <laughs> NCAA scoring leader in college basketball, passing Pistol Pete. She has 3,650 career points. Uh, Lynette Woodard had 3,649 points for Kansas from 1977 to 81 before... This is not a uh, uh, something that can be pointed to with pride for the NCAA, but when Lynette Woodard played uh, and scored uh, 3,649 points, the NCAA had not sanctioned women's basketball. Oh, mm. all right. They sanctioned men's basketball, but not, not the women's sport. Hmm. Philadelphia Phillies are getting rid of their $1 hot dog night. I want to see if you can guess why. Were um, there problems? What do, you, what do you think happened? People got sick eating too many hot dogs. It's no. just a dollar a hot dog. People threw them. You can get ten dollar. You can get ten hot dogs for ten bucks. Oh yeah, I'm they became threw them. missiles. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they were. Is that missiles? it? Yeah, they were showering the field. People oh, were throwing them on, on the field. Of they course, were, uh, jerks. They hit Bryce Howard in the. Uh, is it Bryce Howard? What's her? What's his name? Is that? Who's the guy who plays for the Phillies? I don't I know. haven't been paying attention. Hit one of them with the no ass there. The Phillies officially <laughs> ended that popular promotion this week. The move comes after unruly fans were seen throwing hot dogs during a game last year. While demand for a dollar hot dogs caused long lines on the concourse and the throwing of said dogs, Ugh. it all I led to I mean, we all know that people, safety concerns. People get high on sodium nitrates and... Um, uh, uh, pig anuses uh, oh. that are ground up together. I had no idea. Right? Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you think we could get away with a, 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 a parody? I know it's very dated, mm -hmm. but it's it's footage of all these fans throwing these hot dogs, just littering the field, <laughs> and it slowly pans over, and there's a very fat Native American with one tear coming out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I just like but, very, but the joke is that he's very overweight. <laughs> so he's really not—he's not upset about the littering. littering in this case. It's, the, it's the waste yeah. of food. Uh, what was your first choice? Could we get away with it? Yeah. No. no. Oh okay. no, no. I think I think if you Can I get actually... away with saying it on the radio. No. Oh, uh, I mean you could, but, but it would be it'd be, it'd be more. Honest. I disagree. I think if it were, it were he were an actual uh, Native American, I think it'd be fine. In that famous commercial, right. that that gent he was wasn't. apparently some just guy from New Jersey of Italian, Italian heritage. Yeah, that's Italian craziness. That's oh. a that's a famous commercial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, not even a, it's a public service announcement, right? I plainly remember when I was a kid, if you had any trash in the car, driving anywhere, out the window. Well, I know where they yeah. do it here. That yep. famous no scene kidding. in Mad Men where they have the picnic. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, they oh, leave the trash. God. Yeah. God. Just flip the they blanket. flip the blanket. <laughs> and exactly the way it was. Yes. So, the, so what we're saying is that commercial didn't work. Uh. <laughs> Well, I that. think people are a lot more conscious. Yeah, like, for sure. A lot more. Work, I'll yeah. send you to a um, major place right around here. That oh. Tom's got the lowdown. Oh, they're always jerks. He yeah, knows maybe get the worse. guy with the sign there standing yeah. there every day to go yeah, pick up all the go. crap yeah. that he leaves behind. He's a secretly rich, filthy <sighs> rich. You're drinking a venti Starbucks there it is. sign. <laughs> Help. He goes and gets his own urine. Brand new Cadillac. Check the shoes. The shoes are clean. Yeah, We have to make sure. I love the fact that they want to get him registered to vote. There's a guy who's crapping in a bucket. I want him to help us with our foreign policy. <laughs> hey, you know what? You show up at one of those meetings with a bucket full of crap, you might actually get things done. Yeah. Well, we, we compromise or this goes over your head. <laughs> I don't what's, the latest, what's the latest with our nuclear defense? Oh, I don't know. Ask a guy that crapped in a bucket. He's voting. I almost guarantee the, the meeting will be over quicker than it would be had there not been a bucket of poop. Hey, let's figure this out so we can get out of here. All right. right? And he craps in a bucket on a good day. <laughs>
That's what he's. Right. That's what he's feeling responsible. Good break. Most days you know, he just. Most you days should... he just. You know, free, free okay. dumps. This is my Sunday bucket. You should ask someone. Not that you would, because you don't feel like you need a therapist. But you should ask someone why you get really outwardly angry at seeing people beg for money. I, I, that's there's something oh, there. Well, because there's the one gal who I've seen. Here get we into, go. And, he, and I've you seen always her, make. I've seen her get into a very it. nice car yeah. just around the right. corner from where she stands with right. her sign. If that's and, true, and, and, and so her what? cigarettes and her venti coffee. Well, you don't you don't have to give her money, and uh, no. you drive right by her. So why why be upset about it? Uh, well, I'm hoping to somehow slip and run her over. Oh. Um, <laughs> what's what's going on oh uh, with uh, what's going on with <laughs> education? We learned. Uh, this is so exciting. Josh admitted that he really learned something, and I did too. Oh. I learned that what I thought was good cheese was just the tip of the iceberg, the greatest cheese in the world. Uh, uh, tell me more, Josh. It really is my new favorite, and it's just worlds above what I was getting. I'm talking Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage. You've heard us mention them. A lot of you had tried them, and thank you so much for doing so. If you haven't yet, please give them a shot. I think you're really going to enjoy what they have. Check out their famous squeaky cheese curds. They're made fresh in the morning, most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. And right now, you can take advantage of Gardner's Leap Day Sharp Cheddar Sale. That's right. You buy one Sharp Cheddar, get the next one 40% off. And I like to think that our listeners are sharp. Why not have some cheddar to match that? Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. From the 8-year-old, 13-year-old, and 17-year-old Sharp Cheddar, enjoy any time. The 8-year-old is my personal favorite. It's so tasty. Gooey, melts in your mouth. And it's very, very flavorful. After a long day, serve it to guests. Pair with a glass of wine or your favorite bottle of beer. This sharp cheddar sale is going on right now, and it finishes March 5th. So don't dilly dally. Do you realize that when you're having a photograph taken and they say, say cheese, that was developed based on this delicious Gardner's cheese really? That's exactly right, because they oh. noticed that when people were eating Gardner's, they were, so happy. They were smiling. Yeah. Few, people, few people know that. You're right. Oh. But it is uh, a fact. This is a great time to stock up. Buy one sharp cheddar. Get the next one 40% off. And let me tell you a little bit about their Bob and Tom sampler package. This is the perfect intro to all of Gardner's most beloved products, including that eight-year-old super sharp cheddar, bacon oven baked cheese, buffalo wing cheese, teriyaki meat sticks, garlic summer sausage, and so much more. Everything we've had from them has really been terrific. Try them out. You'll see the difference right now. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend only $59 or more at GardenersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom. They've made it very simple for you by giving you a dedicated Bob and Tom page. That's GardenersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom. Once you try them, let us know uh, your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much, Josh. Uh, coming up, we're also going to feature a little bit of our interview with Bill Burr, comedian. He's on tour once again. He's got some great stuff on Netflix. We'll talk with Bill. This is the Bob and Tom Show. That's nice. That's so nice. We got another song for you, baby. Well, we'd love to hear one more. What have you got for us? Baby, you know this one. It's my song about your bridges.
from the mummies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Added special oh. effects at the end. Oh, thank you yes. so much, fellas. That was just beautiful. Oh. Baby, thank you. In the summer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the I, I hate the Yankees. That's the only reason I watch baseball is to hope the Yankees lose, and that's I guess that's probably a miserable just because they buy their team and their fans are so obnoxious. Like if you're gonna just be cheering in the stands, pick an underdog and have some character. If you have money on the game, it's different. That's like having stock in a company. Yeah. But if you're just gonna be a, a loudmouth, you know, beer fueled ass bag in the stands pick the underdog rooting for the yankees is like going to a casino and cheering for the house <laughs> you're already supposed to win you're standing behind the blackjack table going oh dealer busted your ass bitch oh that's my dealer i got my dealer jersey on. hi this is andy kindler and this is a different register in my voice and you're listening to bob and tom radio so continue where are you from by the way Patterson from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, word. you know, small. Sure. Thugged out town. You know, mm -hmm. It's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? <laughs> 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 come home <down> for dinner. <laughs> Jeff Rothband is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. <laughs> I um, actually had to do that once. What? Be a pole bearer. And that, oh, my that's God. That's heavy. Yes, that's a heavy, heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pole bearer, and I, uh, <laughs> always a pole bearer. <laughs> <laughs> Never the corpse. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Big doings at the compound this weekend. I'm pretty excited about it. What do you got going at the compound? Uh, I don't want to really? really say anything. I just want to, I, I don't want to jinx it. Just a really big, uh, really, really big, big weekend. weekend. I've been looking forward to it uh, for, for about a week. No Get time with them. Remodeling? You are not invited, Ace. Yes. No one else is invited. No, 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 no. There will be no one uh, It's going to be you and the... Uh, just you and the dogs? You and the dogs? Me and the uh, lady dogs. DoorDash yeah. and Ice. It's been a while since I had a bacon party. I think we're going to have a bacon party tomorrow morning. They love the bacon Bacon party. for your dogs? Bacon for the dogs. Well, yeah, that sounds like nice. the bacon dogs. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what's coming up here in a little bit. You know, I know we just had a new story about, mm -hmm. what is it, uh, Philadelphia is going to get rid of, get rid of a hot dollar dog. hot dog night. Buck a dog. Because Did they do that once a season or what were they doing it a lot? Uh, they were doing it apparently a couple times and I, I guess oh. it was a disaster. People throwing the hot dogs on. It but was it, very popular. The famous I bet. debacle. Was it nickel beer night with the Cleveland Indians in the 70s that the legend, I think the story changes a little bit, but yes, yeah, something like that. I yeah, thought you were there got, for that. Everybody got No, drunk. Marty was there. Marty was there. Oh, okay. I knew well, somebody um, we knew Marty was Marty says he was there. I was there for, <laughs> I know, I, I was there uh, for a bring your own bat night. That resulted in a lot of assault. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, no, they, they would they have had... been better off with an actual size bat instead of what they gave away, which was the miniature bat. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that was uh, asking for Think trouble. about that. Yeah. Sitting there watching a baseball game, you've got a little kid, he's got a little baseball bat. Sure. <laughs> Something's going to get hit. Yeah. Probably the head of the guy in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a, not, not, not a good thing. When I worked for Rawlings, they, we, we, we would make those. and uh, little the, mini bats? The mini bats. And we, they eventually, I believe, at least in the, the St. Louis Cardinals game, started giving them out as people exited. Ah, that's smart. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best so they can do. Beat people after they've had, yeah. a few, after they had a few beers. Smash some windshields. <laughs> yeah. Man. What are those good for, by the way? The bat? Souvenirs, just good souvenirs. Many bats, yeah. yeah. People loved them, loved them. Yeah, you can hold it while you're uh, making. But I mean, a point. you end up putting it in your desk drawer. And it's yes, no. Twenty no, years later, the oh, there's the yeah, mini like bat shelf. I used, to, I used to have a bat around here with my name on it. Josh got it. I had one. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, what happened to it? I took it home. It's by my back door. Mm. Mm. Your baseball bat? It's by her back. That's door, a full Josh. size bat. Yeah. Okay, handy. She keeps it by her back door, Tom. Yeah. 
so that the burglars can come in and beat The me. burglars. <laughs> in a way, burglar. Will be dissuaded. Tonight, a special episode of The Burglars. <laughs> at the back door. Okay. There's a burglar at the uh, back door. I saw a movie called Backdoor Burglars. Oh, once. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh -huh. yeah, you did. You did not expect that. Ah, uh, yes. Was it, did it star one of the guys from the show choir? <laughs> Call back. <laughs> Is it? Uh, um, okay. Okay. I can't. I can't hold on to in anymore. The, the big news of the compound. Uh, I'm. I think. I hope uh, a new robe is delivered this uh, today or tomorrow. For <laughs> oh, that's and I can't, uh, and I think we have a picture of it coming up. There it is. That's a new robe coming this weekend sometime. Oh, that's that terrific. I'm nice. very excited. A buffalo check. It's from uh, Pendleton Wool. Oh, I nice. can't wait. And it has a tie belt. It has yeah. a tie belt. I love the tie and, belt. An obi, if you will. Belt. Yes, and I'm going to robe it up all weekend. <laughs> What's obi? I don't get that. I'm that's not the thing. Japanese sash. I'm not coming out of the robe all weekend. Now, oh. you have the wool underwear, right? Also? Yes, Ace. Okay. Combo, you know. Good job. So you're not coming out of the robe. I'm no, I'm go, I'm going out to conduct commerce. Dressed in the robe. In the robe. That's right. I'm, I'm going to the drugstore. I'm going it, to the grocery when store. When you get it, will you launder it prior to wearing it? No, God no. It's oh, clean. Good. It's right. getting Chinese diseases all over your skin. Was <laughs> 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 that a Dire Straits album? Chinese disease. <laughs> uh, <laughs> When's the last time you got a new robe? Isn't that exciting? That's very exciting. Yes. Yeah. I don't wear them. I'm not a robe guy. They're fun. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. What What do you, what, how, oh, what am I saying? You don't relax. That's a, that's, that's the yeah. answer to that one. Now, let me ask you this, Chick. Yes. Are, are you selling your old robe? <laughs> I, I I was going to put it in the bag and, and uh, give it to the uh, place where I give I stuff guarantee away. somebody right now would buy that from you. Oh, yeah. Perhaps a man in Alabama. Maybe game worn. Frank. It's a relatively new robe, and I uh, have just uh, decided I don't care for it. What color? What's is wrong it? with it? It's kind of a blue and a red, and I'm, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Is it a terry cloth? I like yes. a terry cloth. Uh, terry cloth. You got you got you got oh, throw away cloth. your robe money? Oh sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe it's time to diminish your salary. Yeah 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 yeah. Well, let's not even <laughs> joke about that. <laughs> what the hell are you trying to do? Diminish. <laughs> so, um, I think we should give your robe away. Well, uh, no. Why don't we have some kind you of contest? Maybe let's like, start the bidding. No, yeah. we're not giving it away. Write, a, write like a poem or something. I'm As you sign. just said, my salary's <laughs> diminished. I need to sell this. Glad damn you thing agreed. I'll have you sign that, and we get. Done. That's a good uh, idea. Um, mm -mm, well, uh, I know. You want to uh, polish off your sports cast? O L robed one. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you, oh, do you wear? Um, I think Ace was trying to make a good point. Do you wear the robe sans underwear? No, I, I, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wear it with nothing else on underneath it every now and then. Sure. What kind of slippers? Oh, the UGG slippers. Oh, the UGG slippers. Oh, nice. Actually, I wear actual UGG shoes or little boots. I don't mess with the slippers anymore. I don't care. Little boots? Slippers. How cute. I just wear my little... Will uh, you go to the mailbox in your robe? Absolutely. Why not? Absolutely. Oh, no, I'm just a... Yeah. Where do you see me cutting quite the figure at the CVS <laughs> in my robe? <laughs> oh. Damn right I will. And with no wonder where you got quick access to the jewels. Oh. If I go... If I do if you're that, watch, If you're I watching wear, an old Redskin Super Bowl, you can you know, I will reach wear, down and... I'll wear pants and I'll wear sweatpants underneath my robe, Tom, because I know how to relax. I don't own sweatpants or a robe. I, I feel know. bad for my neighbors. They, I know they have seen me multiple times get DoorDash off my porch in my underwear. Oh, with the box, the box, but yeah, you boxers wear and t-shirt. A boxer, that's not bad. It's got to be a bummer. No, <laughs> it can't a be. boxer and t-shirt's a fine look. I thought you meant like tidy whities and no shirt. That would be great. What you need yeah. to do is start mowing your lawn wearing a wife beater. Oh, boy. that's the look they want to see. It's an A <laughs> shirt, like a t-shirt. It's called an A. Uh, those shirt. of us on the street refer to it as a wife no, beater. No, no. Uh, what have you got not, over there in sports? Have you missed anything? Let's not do that. Stupid world record. The Guinness, uh, the the GWRO, Guinness World Records Organization, oh. has published a retrospective on the first mother-daughter duo to climb Mount Everest. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, why you decided to wear that up? The, the, God, I'll bet that out. Sherpa wishes he were deaf. <laughs> Nikki oh. Bart. I can't believe what Uncle Bruce did. And her mother, Cheryl, earned the distinction in May. You guys are making fun of something that is extremely difficult to do. What, spend time with your mother? That is hard. Well, there's that. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Josh, you may have just hit the nail on the head. Too late. Can I? <laughs> 
Sorry, she's oh, laughing. Well, it's okay. Laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, Josh is the only one that has a living mother, right? Oh, Pat has yeah. one. Yeah, my mom's hanging on. Well, I mean, what time is it? <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> yeah. I have an idea. She's physically alive. Wow. Turn your microphone off and go spank yourself. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's the truth. She's hanging See on. if you notice the same thing I did uh, in this story. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Yes. The Guinness World Records organization has published a retrospective on the first mother-daughter duo to climb Mount Everest. Nikki Bart and her mother, Cheryl, earned the distinction in May of 2008. Right. Okay. But also, this is a retrospective. <laughs> you, you'd said, yeah. Yes. Just in time for the 2024 Paris Olympics. So we're celebrating their 16th anniversary? Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> For some reason, I'm reading it's a, because they've got this new book out about these people climbing Mount Everest. These great these women. Bart women, 16 I, years after what the are, fact. Uh, what, do Christy, they have trouble getting what? pictures? What? Uh, maybe. I don't, what are um, uh, crampons? Mm. Are those like cold weather Kotexes? <sighs> no, that's very funny. They're, they are not. They're a little. Uh, What's uh, a crampon? Uh, isn't it the crampon the spiky, thing that you, spiky that you, things on? Yeah, the, that you use to or, or is it mountain the, climb with? Or is it those shoes with the spikes on? No, them? I think no. it's spiky things you attach to your boots. I think. Is, is that, it? Are those the crampons? Yeah, what a weird so. word. Are they called crampons or crampons? It's spelled here. It's spelled crampons. Yeah, it's what you attach to your. I mean, shoes. that's what it. It sounds like a joke about a tampon. Mountaineering sure. is weird because they say crevasse yeah. instead of crevice. They say crampon. So these women uh, instead of crampon yeah. Mount Everest, which they, is amazing. Crampons you put on your shoes. Yes. Um, I'm trying to find a photo. Crucial tracking device. They're like, what, you want to see a picture of some? Nope. Oh, they're very. Uh, the women or the crampons? What are you looking for? <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm looking at the I women. I want to see the uh, picture of the women. What, what do they look like, What do they look like, What Tom? are we running over there? Very healthy and fit and very pra very attractive. <laughs> they're not fat at all, thank God, right? <laughs> I don't think there are any fatty fats on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd, be a, that'd be an interesting thing, the first morbidly obese person to get make if, it up Everest. If I, I summited Everest, I would eat a Twinkie at the, at the summit. Oh, man. And, and get a picture. I don't think you have much time to linger. I remember... Uh, well, you can eat. A, you can take. Oh, a if I'm up, I'm staying as long as I want. Yeah, well, I think you can stay in a couple minutes, and you got to head down. You, know, right? you can't oh, breathe because you'll if die. You, I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, you're I, in, think, what is it? I think lack of oxygen. Yeah, is I got you. Take you and, out. and that, and there's a great book uh, by John Krakauer. I believe it's called The Death Zone. When you're up there, <laughs> yeah, man, what's that noise? <laughs> oh, it's your lungs shutting down. <laughs> If you've got time enough to take a picture, you can incorporate a Twinkie into said picture. Okay. Sure, you can do it. The pair from Australia the have already... going to be frozen. Son of a bitch. No, the pair... Be, are you going to heat it up? It'll be in his fire, pocket against his s'mores. That's right. It'll He's be right. about 98. And by the way, I like a frozen, frozen Twinkie. Do you? And a frozen eat or a frozen... <laughs> what are those? Chocodiles? <laughs> yes, yes. You introduced <laughs> me to Chocodiles. I love them. They're when when you first first chocolate covered down. Twinkies. Delicious. Wasn't stuff. that... The time I saw you in the grocery store and stuck up on you and you had like a crate of chocodiles in your... <laughs> He's not lying. I had like four boxes because... I stuck up and back up and took a picture. This actually does make sense if you allow him to tell the story. <laughs> One of my best friends, uh, that's her favorite snack and they're no longer available where she lives and so right. I was sending them to her. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, well, uh -huh. I'll, I, I, in fact, I'll, the I'll be even more honest. All of them? I was sending her three out of the four boxes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable. <laughs> yeah. Nikki and Cheryl from Australia already climbed uh, Kilimanjaro, Mount Elbrus, Denali, which has a nice SUV car. at the top of nice it. Car. Nice car. And several other mountains before tackling Everest. Nikki and Cheryl have had no plans to break any more records. They still embark on special adventures. And in 2018, the mother-daughter duo climbed the tallest volcano in Antarctica, Mount Sidley. Mm. And, of course, if it happened in Isn't 2018, the, we'll hear about that in 2034. Isn't Kilimanjaro that new weight loss drug? Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah I don't think so. Thank you, Kilimanjaro. Right, so. <laughs> I've lost 80 pounds in two weeks. This has to be healthy, right? <laughs> this has got to be healthy. What could go wrong? Now, they mentioned Kilimanjaro in that great song uh, by Toto, right? Yes, they yes, do. Yes, they do. Yeah. Uh, in 2024... This uh, mother and daughter plan to mount the same man. Isn't that a feat? Then won't that be interesting? That's very popular. I hope they have uh, some sort of video running. Oh, yes. During oh, it's, it's a great record. Do you think it's sick for a mother and daughter to share the same man at the same time? Perhaps? Yes. I think it's a yes. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. You sick? Problem. Yeah. 
I would, pr- I would say, think it's sick. I think, yeah. yeah, but I, well, this mother and daughter. I would climbing. say I think it's kind of sick. I think it's interesting that while the mother and daughter no. were climbing Mount Everest, their husbands no. were at home having their nails done and doing some vacuuming. So uh, I, I say it's <laughs> out of the out of the ordinary. I wouldn't call it sick. No. Could we move on? It's healthy. You share something with your yes. family. <laughs> What's the difference between that and having half a sandwich each? That's exactly right. Uh, well. Let's see now. Um, what do you suppose the conversation was like as the mother and daughter, day after day after day, slogging up the mountain? You know, that Sherpa I hear is single. Uh, Mom, will you stop? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me these trail pants were cute? <laughs> I or, bet they, you guys. Of course they got along very well. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Coming up, uh, we're going to hear a little bit of our interview uh, from yesterday with comedian Bill Burr. And um, uh, we'll uh, touch on more sports. Is that I already correct? heard it, though. Uh, evidently. <laughs> Very helpful. Very helpful. <laughs> uh, really old lady from Oklahoma. Very excited. Uh, What'd she do? She's getting she's old. She just stayed alive. Oh. Getting old. Uh, as far as we know, she's still alive. Right? All <sighs> well, the stories from yesterday's I'm news, so I mean. Yeah, that's, I know. Why didn't we do it yesterday? Well, it was in the International News Wire this morning. Okay. The, the celebration was yesterday. Could we fight off the air, please? Waking up is such a disappointment. The International <laughs> News Wire. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do it again. The most exciting story today is uh, this headline from the Associated Press. Why humans don't have tails. Hmm. That's fascinating. I, I find it surprising that you didn't know that people actually add tails to themselves in a vanity type project how do they do that uh they... there's an insertion thing yeah. oh oh i've heard about that <laughs> no I've not that. not in the booty it actually goes inside your body and they sew it up no oh, i was really? I, no, I, was, I didn't know that i was at the mall with a friend of ours at, and they have the, a tail uh, what's that called again the uh, food court yes and there was uh there was a guy in front of me uh wearing uh, shorts and had a tail coming out of his shorts mm-hmm yeah, but that wasn't. It wasn't. I don't. I don't think it was. Yeah, it was. The, it, there was like a furry. There was like a furry convention. Uh huh. He doesn't hear anything. No, I mean obviously it, it was being held with a you know anal cle- kegel. I guess no, was no way. No, it was just no, 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 no shorts, anal yeah. kegel. I'm sorry. That was uh, that was the poet laureate. <laughs> 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 the poet laureate of Botswana. I think. It was. Um, hey, uh, you want to uh, skin a uh, gopher? Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, oh. uh, coming back. Do I ever? Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at Bob. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. This is one of my favorite tunes, by the way. Tom's going to do one of his big hits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is, actually. It's one, it's of the, a huge hit. one of the better ones. Yeah, all set over there, Tom? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Who are you speaking to? <laughs> oh. It's that strange it's European the accent, accent that you can't indeed. quite place. Uh, yes, uh, I'm sorry, your name, sir? Bonjour. 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 Good morning, Mr. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said. You 
must be the chick, the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I, we didn't catch your name. I haven't thought of one yet. I see. I, I see. I see. Um, it's Peter Merritt, isn't it? Or <laughs> I think it is Peter Merritt. Peter Merritt. Yes. Like yes. That would be very funny. He's the crappy artist, isn't he? Dick Merritt. Yeah. <laughs> Ricardo Merritt. Yeah. Ricardo Merritt. Uh -huh. Excuse me, darling. I hate to interrupt you, but there's something I must tell you. I will sing for you now. Oh. <clears throat> In a minute. <laughs> Let it come around. I will sing after the band comes around. <laughs> it's the band's fault. If you find yourself in Holland, they'll say to you, how yamon. In France, they'll say, ferme la gueule. In Athens, you'll hear, scarmon. In Berlin, it's Helden Sie Schnauzer! <laughs> In Jakarta, it's simply Bon Come. <laughs> Let me translate for you, darling. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Coming around again. Has there ever been a topic <laughs> on which you don't expound? <laughs> Has there ever been a moment when your mouth wasn't making a sound? <laughs> Have you ever had the feeling that you might have said enough? <laughs> I am begging you, my darling. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Day or night, it does not matter. You still want to shoot the breeze. When I hear your constant chatter, I'm thinking, someone, shoot me, please! <laughs> Maestro! Now we are in the bedroom. So comfortably inclined. But the only intercourse we're having is the conversational kind. There's just one way stop you from blabbering so much say hello to mr johnson <laughs> and shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up, shut up. <laughs> ah, bravo. Ferme la douche. Yes. Bonjour. Merde Chevalier. Merde Chevalier. Uh -huh. oh, Maurice <laughs> Chevalierinus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Maurice Chevalier. Side memorials on a curve ever? No. no. Always on a straight no. Yeah, yeah. straight away going to Nebraska. Well, what the hell happened? <laughs> 3,000 people a day get through here. One guy, ah! <laughs> Maybe it's good he's dead. He could have run into you. You don't know karma. <laughs> people go, well, it reminds people to slow down. It's for safety. That's not safety. You're driving along. What is that, a wreath, a teddy bear? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So there with you. That is brilliant. brilliant. Uh, and, and my friend always pointed out, he goes, How come Jews don't wreck their cars? Which is, you know, you wonder. It's true. These Christians, terrible drivers. Uh, Jews, 10 and 2, going down the road. I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me 
and shields me from debris. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Safety first. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We have a uh, voicemail from a listener. We're going to take a look. Oh, no oh, kidding. Really? Yeah. When we get time. Oh, well, well. Do we have time? Uh, I, I, I don't know what... what... This concerns uh, something that we... Uh, we uh, One of our running jokes, uh, one of our breads and butters. Oh, okay. One of our specialties. Running gag, if you will. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Okay. Bob and Tom, this is Jared from Kentucky. For the love of God, <laughs> we know where Deland is. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jared. For the love Jared. of God. We uh, appreciate is that. Is that, that Deland, Florida, or Deland, Kentucky? I, no. I'm pretty he, sure it's Deland. Yeah, he's Florida. talking Deland, Florida. Well, let's yeah. listen again, shall we? Okay. Bob and Tom, this is Jared from Kentucky. For the love of God, <laughs> we know where Deland is. You can hear no, that he's he, driving. He no. can take is it. he the same gent that uh, was aware of uh, Josh's... Uh, no. Uh, no, that was Big T, wasn't it? Critters yeah, in yeah, the gutter. Oh, yeah. he sounds somewhat similar. Uh, well, that's so well, nice. What, well, what did he say? Oh, Josh, my ah, gosh. My gosh. Josh. Oh, I've always loved that. <laughs> he's a good man. Good man. Uh, okay. Oh, no, um, God, Josh. Uh, what else have you got over there? An Oklahoma centenarian born on Leap Day... Mm. Uh, just celebrated her 25th birthday. Oh, we're doing oh. one of these? The way you're really the way you're, wait a minute, hang on a second. Christy, if she's a centenarian, uh, born yeah. on Leap Day, what day was she born? She was born in 1914? I don't know. Oh, it's possible, years? but then she'd be 110. No, she was born uh, in 1924. 1924. Yeah. Well, yeah. Centena- it's 1924. Isn't a centenarian anybody over 100? <laughs> yes. 100 and over, rather? Mary Lee Forsyth. Yeah, but it said 25th, so that You're would right. be times I'm four. It's the was born on February 29th, 1924, and though she just turned 100 years old, <laughs> uh, she told USA Today... Is that still out there? It is somehow. That she has only <laughs> only had 25 birthdays. That's great. Aww. She noted that for non-leap years, her family celebrated her birthday uh, a lot. Three different days, February 27th, 28th, or March 1st. Huh. For her, uh, an something. afterthought. She's yeah, whenever it was convenient for them. to joke about, though. What do you mean? <sighs> she celebrated by going to Hertz and renting a car for the first time. Oh, <laughs> And she's no longer eligible for the draft. Is that right? That's the that's what you can't. You that's can't, you what can't, you fashion. You can't. You can't run a car until twenty five. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. For her twenty fifth birthday and her one hundredth year, Forsyth was honored with a special surprise party. <laughs> How great is that? The, <laughs> the Sand Springs leader, I'm guessing that's a newspaper, reported that Sand Springs vice mayor, the vice mayor, Bo Wilson. There also, are vice mayors? Evidently. I, I've never heard of that. Does he just handle the hookers? <laughs> uh, they, uh, the vice mayor proclaimed February 29 as Mary Lee Rogers Forsyth Day. Ah, That's nice, but couldn't the real mayor do it? Uh, evidently, he was a lazy, uh, yeah, too uh, busy. She looks good for, well, for a hundred, not, not for twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> is twenty-five the age you're no longer eligible for the draft? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I forget what it is. No, there's no draft. I don't think there's, there's no draft. Oh, oh the draft is alive and well, my friend. <laughs> I wrote a song for this woman thirty-six years ago, almost thirty-six years ago. Is really? When she was sixteen, yeah. Oh, oh. 64, 64 biologically. So it's kind right. of. Wait a minute. So. Okay, this is confusing. What's that? Right. Actually, 64, but I wrote this for. Okay. You come on like a cougar in the back of an Uber. Teeth stained from too much wine. <laughs> you're 16, born on a leap year, and you're mine. Oh. Oh, nice. You're all sweaty and hot, then the next minute you're not. You were 16 when you were four. You're my leap year, baby. <laughs> you're beautiful, but you're really 64. <laughs> leap year, baby. Can't forget. You were six on the night we met. We showed the bouncer our ID at the door. I tried to tell him you were 24. You can't get mad. 
Medicare till you're 260. <laughs> Forget about Social Security. <laughs> Seriously, officer, she's 16. <laughs> but really, 64. No need for the cuffs. <laughs> she's got a dry muff. She's 64. <laughs> Why that? I had to throw it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just threw Why? in dry muff. <laughs> That's nice, Pat. My goodness. It's kind of sure a, it's like that. a math quiz going into that. Uh, so, uh, born on Leap Day 100 years ago. Well, good for you, ma'am. Hope 1924. you have a 1924. Lovely day. And uh, 25 over 100 is her blood pressure also. Interestingly enough. Uh, Once again, let's Whoa, that's visit. that's low. Let's visit the voicemail of Jared. Yep. Bob and Tom, this is Jared from Kentucky. For the love of God. <laughs> We know where Deland is. <laughs> and this is the original Big T. My gosh, Josh. <laughs> there he is. Yes. Boy, those, uh, they sound kind of similar. Yeah, they do. Where's Big T from? Isn't he from Kentucky? I don't uh, remember, unfortunately. Uh, Toledo. That's why they call him Big T. Mm. Uh, dear Bob and Tom, I'm, my name's Kevin. I have lived in Montana all my life. Hi, no, Kevin. No, Tom, I don't ride horses. <laughs> when I was a kid in the 60s, my 12-year-old brother and his friend trapped gophers and skinned them and tanned the hides by nailing them to a board and salting and scraping them. Yeah, oh. right. Much like Tom's story yesterday about his daughter, under 10-year-old daughters. What at, was it, Tom? At camp, they were doing that with a squirrel, teaching them how to do that. It's important to do but, this. It, if you delve into this story, it's even weirder. It it's wasn't, some guy's house it as It wasn't camp. an organized activity yeah, on behalf are, of the camp. Yes. Right? Yeah, they do. They, they teach them all kinds of great things yeah, about Or it was organized yeah. for the camp. Yeah. Well, that's even odder. Well, no, they, they came up. It wasn't an odder. Or it could have been an odder. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was fun. These were you are, a part the, of all that? These things are important. Were you there when they did that? No, no, I, but I saw the result. Do you have it in your I, home? I picked it up. After no. tanning I, the gopher it wasn't, hides. It wasn't, the tanning process wasn't done. And so where nailing, is it now? Nailing Probably them nailed to, to the wall, the guys. <laughs> back <laughs> board. They then sewed the gopher hides together and made vests they planned to wear to their first seventh grade dance. Cool. cool. There you go. Yeah. However, Practical. however, cooler heads prevailed, and my dad took them away Aww. and got rid of them before they could embarrass themselves. Uh, by getting rid of them, they did mean the children. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Very helpful. Isn't that one of the best things about being a parent is watching your children embarrass themselves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's got to be kind of funny. Sure. Uh. Is, is that sports? <laughs> No, sir, it's not. We've got one of these. Stupid world record. How stupid is it? Oh, my God. Dumb. Real oh, dumb. Oh, my God, my God, my God. A San Antonio woman has broken the Guinness World Record for the most Casper the Friendly Ghost collectibles. <laughs> that is sad. Wow, that's, that's a that's that's small yeah, Venn diagram. That is, that's oh. cripplingly sad. That's just morose. <laughs> it almost is. According to the San Antonio Express News, Ms. Vanessa Irina owns a total of 1,153 pieces of memorabilia dedicated to Casper. Wow. She's 36 years old. Her record-breaking collection includes floor-to-ceiling displays of Casper plush dolls and toys, Casper VHS tapes, and even a video stored... Centering on Casper. Bet right. she's single. Irino said her rarest and most expensive <laughs> Casper piece is a vintage wind-up tin tank she got for six hundred dollars. A tank. Thankfully, I, I'm, she I'm said. I'm guessing she was the only bidder. Her husband. <laughs> her, she is married. A tank. Her husband, was, was, she's was married. Was that from the episode Casper the Friendly GI? <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. Uh, her husband has been very supportive of her passion. Well, that's very nice. He says, happy wife, happy life. Mm. Oh, that, uh, anybody who says that is a sad, sad man. Oh, yeah. well, there's He's a vacationing six months out of the year away from yeah. it. There's a uh, picture. I encourage it to oh, be honest, he says. Oh, oh my, my God. Gosh. I mean, uh, oh, yeah, boy. there she is. Oh, because I saw the picture of her at Comic-Con. She's the only one dressed as Casper. Oh, Although, if you look at it from the right angle, she could be a Klansman. Very unfortunate costume. Oh, my God. <laughs> that Casper costume would be unfortunate. 
You know what else is unfortunate? Did they, by the way, uh, did, Ghost, did Ghost, Ghostbusters have to pay a fee to... To Casper? Wasn't that kind of a Casper-like... Uh, I think it was no, I think, different enough. I yeah. think they were too uh, tied up with uh, Ray Parker <sighs> Jr. Steer, st stealing I Want a New Drug, I think. I don't before. think there's a ghost in Ghostbusters that look like, looks like Casper. Uh, there was Slimer's a, very uh, different. Other than the logo. I think the logo a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. that's... A, I see what you're that's saying, Tom. Yeah, that's... And, yeah. yeah. <sighs> um... I remember the Casper theme song. What Anybody was it? No. Friendly Ghost. Casper, the friendly ghost, ghost. The friendliest it's ghost you know. Dun, 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 dun. That's all I know. Did they ever explore the origins of Casper? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Chuck. I mean, he's a, he's a kid, right? And he's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird. Yeah, Did no, never show yeah, that episode? We never... <laughs> Well, how did he become a ghost? Uh -oh. Hmm. oh, you're suggesting there was some... Well, my mom snapped and drove into a lake. Horrific serial <laughs> oh, killer. Casper, the friend. You know what I mean? One of the movies was called Casper's First Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the one he... Well, okay, thanks. Mom, I think the tree's on fire. Yeah. Oh. Well, time to, uh, time to take a break. We're going to come back a little bit of Bill Burr for you. That okay. sounds good. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll-free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1. Oh. Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. That sounds good to me. No problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that'd be my fault. The hell was that? Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. Well, that sounds good to me. No problem here. How's it going? Morning. Hey, hold on there, kid. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We thought we'd barge in. God. There's a new one. <laughs> hey, kid, hold on there. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We do a morning radio show here in town. Here's the deal. We thought we'd break into your house. <laughs> Consarn it. <laughs> Shoot. Darn it. Honey, I'm home. Oh, great. Fish again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can vote you off this commercial. You know, Chick wanted Richard Hatch. <laughs> what if we paid you to say you liked us? <laughs> I think that we can vote you off. Okay. Come way down. And now the news. Oh. You do sports. And now, and now the sports. <laughs> that would be you, Chick. Sports terms that sound dirty, but they're not. No, oh, really. Ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Coming in first place. <laughs> Good. Palming the ball. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Taking it to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't get your holes mixed up. Right. Ooh. Just don't get your holes mixed up. <laughs> Flip the cord over. Flip the cord over. I don't well... want it in my... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're looking for here. <laughs> don't... Christ. All How right. many times have I heard, I heard that? that. <laughs> Take two... <laughs> A London homeowner who discovered three men trying to rob his house had no difficulty in describing one of the suspects. He had no legs. Ooh, Ooh usually in crime, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> usually in crime, it's the police that are stumped, not the criminals. I know you guys probably aren't interested, but guess what I did this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Did you uh, impeach Bush? <laughs> no. B buzz the honey hole? <laughs> no. Flick the minnow? Did you flick the minnow? <laughs> Flicking the old minnow? Oh, Flicking wow. the minnow? Or did you impeach Clinton? Bailing out the gravy boat? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Finger the fountain? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like wow. a wonderful time, but no, I didn't do any of those things. Sorry. Oh, what um, a boring weekend. Yeah, <laughs> Move on. Yes. Bounce the bearded clam? <laughs> Did you yeah, attend yeah. the clam twiddling jamboree? <laughs> That's it. I That's what I did. Get to that or not? Yeah, I double dribbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Tom did. I just uh, took his only line. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. It's okay. I like to think of Bob as the funny. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prop, yeah. It's part of the drinking act. <laughs> I like to think of Bob as the funny one, and I'm more the philosophical one. Ah, really? By the way, you left your headlights on. <laughs> Socrates. <laughs> What's new? Do the other, can you do the other That's line? it? That's it. That was the <laughs> joke? Well, was That's the it? Line? This one right here. I think of Bob as the funny one. I'm more of the philosophical one. Really? Will you shut up and drink your hemlock, please? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to be too hip for you. Hemlock, you know? Hemlock. Socrates. What is poison. Poison. Start with H. You want hemlock? <laughs> Headlights? What's next? Uh, hemorrhoid. <laughs> hemorrhoid. <laughs>
Uh, one of the guys from REO, and he was saying that in your lifetime, everyone should go see something at Red Rocks. It's the most beautiful venue in America. Uh, what are your thoughts on doing comedy at Red Rocks? Oh, it was uh, it was surreal. It's sort of you feel like you're at like Woodstock or something. Um, there's definitely a uh, you know what it is when you go there. Not only is it beautiful. And you're excited. The crowd is excited. Like, they're excited to see something there. The performers are excited to perform. So there's, like, crazy uh, energy being passed to both people. One of my favorite things about this special is the, uh, you know, we really mic'd up the crowd. So there's a lot of just random <laughs> yelling and stuff in the special. Like, I'll say, like, something like the dumbest thing ever. And there'll just be some guy in the crowd like, yeah! Like, he agrees. <laughs> <laughs> I just got such a kick out of that as far as, like, the just amount of misinformation and the people living in their own media universes. Like, there's just every opinion out there. Um, so it's I mean, like the internet has really proved to us that we are too dumb to talk to one another. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Whether the earth was yeah. round or flat, was yeah. that debate was over when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Bill Burr is our guest. Did you shoot just one night there, or did you, were you able to do more than one so you had, had, didn't have to do retakes? Um, we did two, but it was weird. We did one, and then we came back like a week or so later. Usually, you know, you do two in one night or, you know, you do one one night, one the other night. But we came back like two weeks later, which I think would have been weird in a lot of different places. But that place, I, it's kind of indescribable how excited and humbled you are to uh, to be there. I mean, that's right up there with any place that I've done. I did the Acropolis, the theater at the Acropolis in Greece recently. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, first stand up to do it. And it was amazing. But I'll tell you what was funny, though, was Woody Allen and his band was that were there like two days earlier. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Last I checked, he was, he is a stand-up comedian, but he was playing the clarinet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, that is weird. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, and you're on tour playing some of the big rooms. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. Now, when people come to see you now, are they going to see any of the stuff they might have seen in the Red Rocks show? No, none of it. You can't. That's what stand-up is. It's not like you can't go out there and play Freebird every time you come through. Nobody wants to see you again. Yeah, do, um, do, oh, do, joke do, do, has to be a surprise, yeah, you do, know? Do people shout out stuff, though, in the audience going, hey, do that one again? Um, no, they usually, if I say something dumb enough, they usually, and they take the bait, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I have been teasing, you know, you just set them up. Talking about how you really want to see a woman president, and then women would be like, "Yeah, all right." And they'd be like, "So you can debunk the myth that a woman president would actually make a difference." You just <laughs> right, right. You had them cheering for. <laughs> yeah, like she wouldn't be bought and paid for and part of the war machine too. No, not her. Um, just stuff like that. You yeah, know. Are, are, are you still um, uh, pilots? Are you still flying the helicopter? Yes, I am. I'm having a great time. Actually, there was a heli helicopter expo out here in uh, L.A., and I got to go down, and I flew a, uh, an A-Star and an EC-130, uh, which were just incredible. I fly like a little two-seater egg beater, so kind of stinks to have to go back to that today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you ever, you're probably not old enough to remember the TV show Whirly Birds? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, actually it was directed by Robert Altman is, is its claim to fame. Yeah, it was, not it was really. Not, it wasn't it, bad. It was, yeah. it was what, like mid-60s. I don't remember um, that. Are there, what other TV shows prominently feature copters? What do you mean, Airwolf? So by the way, all these years, people claiming that Hitler... <laughs> went to Brazil and hid. He didn't. He went to Hawaii, and when the heat blew over, he went and he played Higgins on uh, Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same guy. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's certainly good to know. Uh, yeah, he just changed his mustache, but it's the exact same haircut. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Bill Burr is our guest, and uh, Bill is uh, a number of uh, amazing things on Netflix right now, including the movie Old Dads. We were talking about a, a news story today, Bill, in which uh, the guy from Kellogg's was uh, urging poor people to eat cereal for dinner, <laughs> and it, it was a little bit tone deaf. But when I was a kid, if I didn't want what my mom had, I would have either cornflakes or Rice Krispies. Uh, as, as a parent, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, if the kids don't eat what you've got for dinner, do they starve? What do you do? Yeah, I don't, I, no, I, uh, I work around it. 
I'm overcompensating for my childhood. But how mine worked is what if you didn't eat it for dinner, my mother just wrapped like it in like that clear cellophane, stuck it in the fridge, and you just picked up where you left off in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I had like pork chops, cube steaks for breakfast, green bean casserole. And you'd just be sitting there, and everybody else would, you know, either be having cereal or Sunday morning, if there was like Sunday breakfast. They'd have like pancakes or waffles, and you would just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> the half eaten chicken cutlet it was the worst. <laughs> Spaghetti. Spaghetti was awful, too. The, the pasta was fine. It was the sauce. It was just so acidic on your little stomach in the morning. <laughs> now, uh, were you a cereal guy uh, when possible? Did you, what was your, what was your go to uh, breakfast cereal? Oh, that was the weird thing, because my parents wouldn't let us have, like, soda, or you guys call it pop out there. They wouldn't let us have any of that or candy. But, they like, cereal, you could have whatever you want. So <laughs> we had all those little monster cereals, you know, Count Chocula, sure. Booberry, Frankenberry, <laughs> oh, yeah. Cocoa Crisp. Uh -huh. Like, we, we ate really bad ones, really bad ones. Now, as, as, an, as, as an adult? Jacks, it was just all <laughs> color and cereal. We went out the door like Tony Montana. <laughs> as, as an adult, Bill Burr, do you, um, are you doing, like, grape nuts and shredded wheat, or are you still doing the Count Chocula, or are you strictly a non-cereal guy? grape nuts. Eat them on your back porch in your robe like the guy in the commercial. Yeah. Yeah. See, I haven't I, had those in forever. Yeah, um, I, I love, I had grape nuts this morning i love them they're fantastic i'm also i have a uh i have like soft cooked egg mm, yeah oh yeah and are, are you a good cook a little soft cooked egg machine you make like two of them and then you put uh you know like one piece of toast now i'm definitely at that age if uh you know i can destroy a week at the gym with <laughs> like one bad meal it's the worst <laughs> now when you uh when you're playing the big rooms I know that you're playing a bunch of big rooms. Is is it any different? Do you do you prowl the stage more? Do you have to do anything different, or is it just good old stand up like you did it back in the small clubs? You know, it used to be different, but somewhere along the line, like 20 years ago, I did some um, opening for somebody, and it was it was really weird as far as like the sound going out and then a delay coming back, almost like a old uh, self um, um, long distance call. But now they have this sound down so well with the big screens and all that. It's just like doing a comedy club. It's just it's like a giant comedy club is the only way uh, to describe it. When I did Fenway Park, it was like that. It was incredible. Man. That had to be great. <laughs> it had to be just amazing to go back to a place where you'd grown up. Yeah, no, that was... Um, I felt like uh, I was in a Led Zeppelin movie or something like that and uh you know it's funny a lot of people go well, the advice i kept getting from people was just like you know make sure you take it in just make when you go up there just make sure you take and i would be like i can't do that i'm doing stand-up comedy that's that's bill burr from yesterday we're gonna pick up a little more of that in just a cool. couple of minutes uh yeah that's what well, that's great advice yeah just get up there and don't say anything <laughs> wait till, wait till, wait till it gets really awkward and people are going yeah. what the hell just, why is he so quiet oh he's oh, drinking yeah. it in uh okay that would be that would be very very helpful we'll uh, we'll pick that interview up play a little bit more of it in a few minutes it was really a lot of fun That's bill right. is on the road by the way lots of stops coming up we've got a link to his uh, various uh, dates uh, at uh, bobandtom.com right now uh, this portion of the bob and tom show features the very handsome chick mcgee thank you and i will tell you about simply safe the design it yourself do it yourself home security system you know most home break-ins happen in broad daylight and yes you know that the days are getting longer and leonard's getting larger and simply safe is the award-winning home security system that we all use and recommend experts and customers alike love simply safe for comprehensive protection and peace of mind and simply safe just named best home security system of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report and recognized for best cons customer service in home security by Newsweek. Its advanced technology protects every room, window, and door of your home. Cameras keep watch for suspicious activity 24-7. High-def cameras inside and out. Monitoring for less than a dollar a day. No long-term contract ever. You'll get the emergency response you need at around half the cost of traditional home security. And uh, it's easy to install. I've done it a couple times. 
Uh, or if you're uncomfortable with that, you can have the professionals at Simply Safe install it for you. And Simply Safe has a 60 day risk free trial. Don't love it, which I've never heard of, but if you don't, return it for a full refund. Protect your home today. Bob and Tom Show listeners, of course, get a special 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. And remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Read the reviews, my friends. Everybody loves Simply Safe. When we come back, we'll touch base again with Mr. Bill Burr. And uh, we've got some really cool stuff in the news and some uh, really scary stuff involving um, um, uh, the loss of the male member. Ooh, no, ouch. We'll, yeah, we'll see. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Are you listening on the Bob and Tom Show app? Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Bofa on the front. What? Bofa on the front. What are we talking about? These nuts on the back. The new t-shirts. What do you think? What are they going to say again? Bofa on the front. And then on the back. These nuts! <laughs> and another t-shirt. Uh-oh. <laughs> having just paid. Wait a minute. Hold it. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I do very well. Uh, but I don't know what on the back yet. What do you think? Are you recording this? This is the Bob and Tom Show. Good morning. Hello. And uh, we are joined in the studio by our guest comedian, Clinton Jackson. See, I got the name of two presidents, right? I was yeah. just thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, you do. People don't, yeah, see, Bill Clinton and Jesse Jackson. Boom! <laughs> 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 just wanted to scare, <laughs> scare a few people. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, now, Clinton, I, I was told that you were part of a comedy festival in Aspen. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I was. Now, uh, do you ski? No, I do not. <laughs> All the other comics went, and they asked me to go, and I said no. You know what I mean? I just didn't want to be out there, you know, leading a pack, looking like Hootie and a hundred blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> If you are, uh, Chick, do you want to? Heck yeah. Okay. Why not? Wait a minute. Uh -huh. I have a question. Oh, are we just going to do this right in front of everybody? <laughs> and, Doctor, I, I assume you just go in with one <sighs> finger. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. It's, yes. I got to right. warn you, Joyce left the uh, lube in her car last night. Oh, oh it should be good oh, and cold. Stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's always cold lube. Uh huh. Why don't they? Yeah, they should use a warming lube. Sarah, start playing the violin. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't hear the yeah, screams. Yeah, right. so, you, know, you know the theme from Deliver? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay this. You do the play is, by play. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh <laughs> it's, boy. It's
in everyday life. So when someone was telling me a boring story, I could just go, and cut. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish. <laughs> we got it. That's a wrap. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> when you think about it, that would come in handy. you come home oh, late. God, your wife's yeah. like, where the hell were you? And cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it again. This time, you don't care where I was. <laughs> in fact, you're happy to see me. Let's try a topless. Action. <laughs> Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must what, be... oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that... Are you kidding? I, yeah. No. <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're... <laughs> Bob and Tom. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Oh, man. It's Friday. It's Friday. I've got Friday. a new robe being delivered this week. That is so oh, exciting. That's big news, man. I am in the catbird yeah. suit. And once that robe gets there, I'm not taking it off. And I and I have suggested that you sell your current slash old robe. Yes. And, that's, and I think you're going to make enough to pay for this new robe. And somebody in the room suggested, why don't you give it away? No, no, no. I will sell it, though. Yeah. The highest bidder. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's start the bidding. And this is game All worn right. blue. Yeah. But it's not... It's it's uh, absolutely, uh, well, I have had it up against my naked body. I have to be honest. That's one of the selling points. So, What color blue? Are we talking sky blue? Up. It, no, Cobalt it's not definitely blue. not sky blue. It's a darker blue with uh, navy blue, red stripes in it. Nice. It's really hard to but you're start off with red stripes. You're, you're going to get this new one out of the box and not launder it nope, prior put to it right wearing on. it. It's yeah. a wool, right isn't on. it? It's a wool. It's a wool that you can't you wash. Launder it. wool. Yeah, wool light. Hello. You'd have, you'd have to get like a six X if you want to launder it <laughs> yeah. so it'll fit again. You know, right. Put it in boiling water. Morning, gang. Says, hey, Josh. Says Frank in Alabama. Hey, Frank. He's oh. a, a friend of ours All and right. uh, an admirer of chicks, oh. to say the least. Good morning, Frank. Josh, you're right. I want chicks robe <laughs> since I cannot have his hot, sexy body. Oh, Frank this would like he, to have it. You know. Well. Frank. <laughs> you know. In all fairness. <laughs> I have not gone that way yet. Right. Yeah. There's still time. And st and I will be the first to say, here I am, adrift. <laughs> so, so we could make the the term would be uh, LGBTQC for chick. Late life, late life lesbian. Late life. So what would a man? Oh, I've never a, heard of a, a, a gay gent. Sure. A gay, a gay oh. gent. I like a gay. A gray gent. gay gent. Oh, oh the three Gs. Greg Agent. Secret gay agent hey, man. <laughs> gay agent man. Gray, what is, I can't even sing him. Uh, there's something to think about. All right, Frank. Gray, I'll, um, gay I'll, what's your gent. minimum price, Jim? I'll take that under advisement. Minimum for just, the road? Just yeah. send it to Frank. $1,200. $1,200. I'm a man in Alabama, and I love robes. Wear them all the time. Tom, it's not always about you. <laughs> No, I'm not saying it's about me. Just, you asked me if I owned a robe, and I said I don't. That's from Chief Billy. Oh, Chief Billy. Richard huh? says 50 bucks. All right, there's uh, that's, uh, that's the opening bid. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Free to Frank. Free to Frank. Uh, yeah, I say free to Frank. What? Do you... I'm not giving Frank <laughs> anything for free. He loves you. He's going to have to work for oh, it. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know if I give this to Frank... He's going to shoot me back a picture of him wearing a robe. <laughs> he maybe, should. Maybe flashing. And that's going to be... Disturbing or provocative? No, it'll be... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it will be. Like I said, here I am, adrift. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we promise, Who knows? We promised we had to finish up. This is uh, another chunk of our interview with uh, Bill Burr. Bill has a bunch of stuff on Netflix right now, and uh, he's on tour... He'll be in a bunch of spots coming up. He's uh, just getting back up and running. And a side note, Christy and I had to do everything we could to have Tom play the second part of this here <laughs> yeah. because he wanted to play it late next week for yes. some reason. No, I wanted to just wait a few minutes, but no, since you've been stalling and <laughs> jawing for the last four or five minutes. I've been jawing out of my maw. Let's return uh, in the middle of it. This is, once again, Bill Burr. <laughs> so you got to more like reflect on it afterward. Yeah. You know, what's was funny was my agent booked me in Toronto like the next day. So I didn't even get a chance to do a victory lap. I couldn't even, I didn't get like one high five and a Dunkin' Donuts. It was just, uh, <laughs> I did it. I smoked a cigar in right field. And then the next morning I was at the airport, you know, no liquids, please remove your laptop. <laughs> Did that even happen? <laughs> Have you ever um, helicoptered into a gig on your own copter? 
Yeah, but I always do that with an instructor. I don't like flying at night. It's just, uh, you know, too many. Uh, and then also, like, the places that I've done it, it was down near San Diego, and it was just one of those things that when it was – the sun was out. It was easy to get into. But on the way out, there was just too many, like, mountains and wires and stuff. So we ended up landing at a nearby airport and still had, like, a, you know, a 40-minute Uber ride. So that kind of took away some of the uh, cool coolness of flying there. But I've done it. I've flown to, like, Vegas and stuff like that. But I rent other people's helicopters when I do it because, you know... The one that I fly, you know, if I have a headwind, it's going to take me three days to get there. <laughs> so what, are, I, I, what other comics? I know that I, I think John Travolta, the great actor, is a is a, a very fine pilot. Any other comedians, pilots that you know? Oh, yeah. Um, Jeff Dunham builds and flies his own helicopters. I mean, that, that guy is... Uh, wow. Whoa. Oh, no, that guy is, is next. I saw this thing on him, like... Four or five years ago, and it was like he's like a scientist, a mechanic, and a comedian. Like he's an unbelievably intelligent human being. Like they they had this whole thing where I never thought about this. That if you were a ventriloquist, if you went to a store and you bought the puppet and then got famous <coughs> using the puppet that you bought at the store, the corporation that built the puppet can sue you and take a percentage of your your gig money. So this is like 10 years ago I watched this. He had like a 3D printer yeah. and this oven that looked like a, like, a, like a wall safe. And he would, by hand, he would draw these amazing, he could just draw the puppets himself, put it into a computer, have the printout, and then they, they would like make it and he would bake it in this oven. It was unreal. I was just going like, this guy is like a... <laughs> Like he's the CIA too. He's, he was really impressive. Yeah, we just talked to him a couple weeks ago. I didn't know he was a pilot. Though. I didn't either. That's so great, though. I think a lot of people assume that comedians, uh, in, in general, don't have the uh, the the smarts or the 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 focus to be something as serious as a pilot. I mean, piloting a helicopter is serious business. Uh, let me ask you this: No, there's a lot of uh, Kenny G's a pilot. Yep. Kenny G's an amazing pilot. Um, mm, wow. I'm going blank right now. I know there's a bunch of people fly, yeah, a lot of actors fly and stuff yeah, like that. You know, looking back, I wish I, I got a, a license to fly an airplane because helicopters fly so slow, and uh, it really changes your world You're a, when you can just, you know, have a license, rent a plane, and just fly yourself to a gig. Is uh, is is. is it's, it's, I, it's, Would it be unless you do it? It's it's uh, indescribable. Like when we went to that. That expo thing I was talking about down in Orange County. Uh -huh. I mean, we would have been there in like an hour and a half of traffic. We just went, took off. We were there in ten minutes. Yikes! Yeah, no, I know. The guy from Iron Maiden is a uh, is a certified jet. Dickinson. There you go. Yeah. There's a good one. Jet jet. Now the whole band is in the back. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell you they're not listening to Skinner. I guarantee you that. <laughs> All right, that's Bill Burr uh, from yesterday. Um, thank you very much, Bill. A helicopter pilot. That was yesterday. Got a uh, update on something. All right. You have that dumb story about the lady that collects all the Casper stuff? <laughs> I like this lady. You mean the world record? Yes. World record for the most Casper. I mean, I'll say good for you. Yeah, you but it's not like a very competitive. I mean, you go to bid on Casper memorabilia, there's nobody else there. I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, you don't know that for sure, Tom. Now, we wanted to know uh, why Casper was a ghost. Yes. Oh, Lord. Uh, a couple theories here. All right. <laughs> are these... Wait, are these... Theories or actual happen? One of them seems to be a fact. Okay. I have All a theory, right. but I'll, right. I wonder if I'm right. Uh, this comes to us from Wade. Hi, Wade. He goes, uh, I'm about to blow your mind. Okay. Casper is the ghost of Richie Rich. They do look very yeah. similar. Yeah, they do. Yeah. No. I never thought about that. Yeah. Who's Richie Rich? You don't remember Richie Rich? He was also a, he was a, in the yeah. Harvey Comics yeah. stable. Yeah. Harvey Comics was was it Sad Sack, Richie oh. Rich, the, Casper. Yeah. yeah, they tried harder, but it's they been never... a comic book girl. I'm sorry. Well, it was a TV show too. Yeah, yeah. I they also remember. had a, had a uh, movie with Macaulay Culkin. They also had a cartoon character <laughs> named uh, Oswald Rabbit. Mm. Oh, that's true. That they... started out as a Disney thing. Did it really? Yeah. Was that was it okay? 
But like they did they change the name after Lee Harvey got oh. made they I don't know anything about they it. They just did away with uh, the character entirely. Except that. Yeah. Mm. Boy, you, when I'm on the, the rabbit on the run in Cuba, well, I don't think will, so. Yeah, with an Italian rifle. Yeah, it was <laughs> They also got rid of uh, Sirhan, Sirhan uh, the Serpent. Yeah. <laughs> the Beanie and Cecil <laughs> and Sirhan. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> this, uh, Jeff writes. Um, oh, hey, Jeff. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. The, the, let me get this one in first. Christ. This is uh, Mark, he writes, in the cartoon, they show Casper, the little boy who was, quote, <laughs> pasted by a passing car. He chased a ball into the traffic. Oh. What? Are I believe you, in... What are you saying? That that's how he became a ghost. Whoa. Right? Oh, my gosh. Because you were asking, how did Casper, the little boy, become a, you know... I a, always like to think that uh, the first episode of Casper came out <laughs> the day after the last episode of Dennis the Menace entitled, Mr. Wilson Finally Snaps. Ah, <laughs> the Casper origin story. Yes. Wilson gets even. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Well, that's very good. Thank you very much. Uh, now. Interesting. We uh, have left the uh, sports page. Is that correct? Yes. And we are correct. moving over to the news desk with Christy Lee. Now, Christy, we have a very disturbing story. Oh. Uh, out of Germany. What would you um, like me to do? Yeah, I'd like you to do that because it's um, <laughs> well, wait, I don't... It's profoundly disturbing. I have talked about this happening uh, uh, before. Give me, uh, oh, this one. Authorities say a man's penis was bitten off and eaten by his dog. Oh, but why would this Residents happen? in the town of oh. Hearn uh. contacted police upon the dog's incessant barking coming from the man's home in the middle of the night. Uh, 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 uh. First responders broke down the door to find the dog's 66-year-old owner gravely injured and rushed him to the hospital. My vena! The man's male member... Could not be found. In the dog's Officials belly. believe uh. the man's dog, said to be about the size of a Jack Russell, bit off the man's Aww. member and ate it. He's adorable. Yeah. So now, small. Um, I believe we have a, a, a new singer here. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Herr Adolf <laughs> Gulpenkaken. <laughs> Gulpenkaken. Oh Wait a minute. Adolf Gulpenkaken. Gulpenkaken. Okay. German. Yes, yes. <laughs> Once again, this is about the doggy eating the <laughs> eating the schlong of this poor man. His owner, yes. <laughs> I don't think the saying. German would say schlong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's poor man. <laughs> Pre 1945. Ah, <laughs> uh, he thought it was an Oscar Mayer Wiener. <laughs> that is why my doggy barked at me. <laughs> he chopped on my Wiener puss and shaft. And <laughs> I've got nothing to hold on to when I pee. <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, oh, thank you. I, I'm Sir Adolf Franken Dickens. Thank you. I thought it was uh, a hair, uh, Adolf. Uh, I, I didn't know you'd been uh, knighted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Herr Shaft and Pussin. <laughs> Herr Shaft and Pussin. Dickens. Franken. Well, thank I, you for joining uh, us, you're, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Very, very nice. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. This poor idiot. How did this happen? The, this the guy must have been drunk Poor or idiot. Remember, I, I've been telling you forever, never be naked in front of your dogs. <laughs> yeah, but this has been your fear? That yes. your dog's going to bite your penis? <laughs> they they look at the worst that's going to happen is they put their nose in it. They, they, like, they look at it and go, oh, it's a brat. No. I don't think. I think they know. Sausages. Yeah, I, of course they know. Well, this guy now they he's... know butts and <laughs> yeah, yeah. penises. They've got it. Well, dogs does, does have it them. Give the name of the guy who's shalong got No, eat. they did not give the name. Well, the I mean, news is right now it's nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> nine. That means a zero. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this theory of you a, a naked dog seeing you. or a dog seeing you naked and biting your. So if a dog sees a naked woman, do they go, well, some other dog beat me to it? Yeah. I'm totally that, gone, man. They go, no, the fish, is, the fish is for the cats. No, there's nothing there, man. <laughs> Honest to God, nothing there. The dog said to him, so you neutered me? Guess what, pal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Scientists, oh, are we done? I, I uh, you know, they say it was a Jack Russell. A oh, Jack Russell like about that size. It doesn't say it's actually a Jack Russell. Yeah, they but say. They jump pretty high. And they say Jack Russells are not good for kids, not to, good to be around kids. What? Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> if you've How heard you, it. That's a fact. How don't do you know say that? that. You heard it somewhere yeah, yeah, from somebody. My, my dog breeding buddy Could told you be me any that. more uh, vague ladies, about uh, any fact at all? Ladies uh. and gentlemen, you just have to remember, Tom loves his dogs. No other dogs. That's right. Only so when one he dog. says he's a dog person, he means he is a 
his, his dog person. Right. I like all dogs. No, that is... No, you <laughs> don't. <laughs> I, just, I just met another dog with a nice conversation with another he, dog the other day. He hates we... Uh, no, Jack Russell's and uh, Iris Sitter. Setters. He hates them. No, I like Iris Setters. No. And you Dalmatians. Don't. You don't like them. No, they're stupid. Dalmatians are stupid. Yeah. Iris Setters are a little thick. <laughs> there you go. We used to have one live next door. It was great. <sighs> I'm a big fan. I'm just saying. I, I just don't think you should be naked in front of your dog or, you're, you know, he's going to... You can't actually be seriously. Well, look concerned what happened to this poor guy. I One can't believe guy. we don't know why this happened. Yeah, maybe the guy was drunk, or maybe he had an injury and he fell. He couldn't feed the dog for Maybe a few he days. used the crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we don't know. Oh God. This guy's gonna be, I, I just want to see a picture of this guy in the hospital. He's going to have one of those cones on his head. <laughs> <laughs> but, sir, we're trying to keep you from... Please. No, I didn't do this. I did not do this. I did not do this. It's <laughs> German, I forgot. Oh, man. Oh, God. Wow. Well, that's rough. You think they'll put no that, pun. Will intent. they put that dog down? <laughs> do you think? Well, he's got a taste for it now, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. They may have to. Yeah, maybe the guy will say, put me down, too. Yeah, yes. Yeah, give me that needle. <laughs> Here's a nice story about a dog. If you're on the internet or if you have social media, there's a great little video going around about a German Shepherd who uses the doggy door and this little doe follows him in the house. Oh, <laughs> it's wow. the cutest thing ever. She walks right up to the lady holding the phone. Oh, I mean, wow. it's like, okay. And the entire family now have up their neck and Lyme disease. But it's a, <laughs> oh, it's a cute. Oh, it's so cute. Yes, yeah. it's so cute. It's Ugh. a crippling disease. Uh, We'd make another video, but we're very not tired. Not all yeah, deer right. carry yeah. Lyme disease. All of them do. God. Every, every one of them. Every... What? You guys are just they, so negative. Animal. Do they shoo the deer out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't critter. go that far. She just shows them coming in the house. So mm. I don't know what happened after that. Well, that's sweet. Yeah. You pet it, then you go to your face. And cat walked in disease. holding a venomous snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. That's a pretty good sized doggy door, obviously, if a German Shepherd's using it. so. Well, mm -hmm. And, of course, the local burglars, big fans. <laughs> <laughs> Crawling into the doggy door. <laughs> that, didn't that happen to you, the cat and the snake thing? Absolutely, but it wasn't a doggy door. It was at my screen door in Harbor Springs. Oh. Uh. Open the door and there's fluff. Look what I got for you. No thanks. <laughs> a rattler. <laughs> it wasn't a rattler, but it. Mi uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Monkey brought uh, a, a half alive squirrel to the back uh, oh, yeah. door. Oh yeah. Totally. Like she goes, I finally did it, she, Dad. <laughs> she, her tail. She's never been happier. A mouthful of squirrel just sitting there. <laughs> uh, my, my cats would sit at the window and they just go. <laughs> When they'd see the chipmunks running across the log, I fence. told you what that is. They're practicing their kill bite. Yeah, well, they were. Look it up. Oh, I love to have. Cats I've never had that. a cat that's done that. I've seen video of it, but cats are evil. I'm glad I've not had a. That's a, an unsettling thing. <laughs> now, would a cat? <laughs> wouldn't you? What is the thing about it? If, if, if you if you die in your house, the dog won't start biting into you for a week, but a cat will right away. Right, right away. When the dog finally does start to eat you, he'll he'll start at your feet. A cat will start with your face. Oh, oh, good to know. Gosh. Thank you. Um, now, on that pleasant note, what have you got over there? More fun facts We're going to come back with some great news about why we don't have a tail. Did you know? And we're up to 100 to? bucks. 100, 100 bucks, 100 bucks on my old chick's robe. robe. Right. Hot dog. Here we go. And uh, Raycons are, are cheaper than 100 bucks. Look it up. I know they are. I, uh, Raycons also offer amazing audio quality, about half the price of other premium audio brands. If you don't believe me, how about. Tens of thousands of five-star reviews. And uh, Raycons have those optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. Oh, so comfortable. And they actually stay in your ears. Whether you're out walking the dog, running on the treadmill, using them to chat on the phone while cleaning the house, Raycons stay in place. And Raycons also have eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And you don't have to worry about whether they're up for the task, you can enjoy features like their easy-to-use earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and Raycons also have the awareness mode. So go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today, and we've got a deal for you. Get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's right. 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Yes, Coming up, why don't we have tales uh, and more? This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at Bob and Tom. I am amazed at the women who 
ever do that. At what? I was with a friend who will be We are, uh, you know what? I'm waiting, us, what us people... guys are also amazed. And he, he goes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm sorry. This guy. Guy. So, Christy, so, Christy, you're, you're talking with one of your not boyfriends, but Just male a guy friend. friend. Yeah. And he goes, I can get a woman to send me a naked photo within the next 10 minutes. And? I go, no way. Eight and a half minutes later, bing. Wow, Monsignor, <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's less than eight minutes. <laughs> what happened now? Send me a video of their Go ahead, show that. No, show it to Tom. I can't, I don't want Christy, cover your eyes. Oh, oh I've no. seen it all. Before. No, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. Evidently, As- she's lost her keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. That is, yeah. But does that look like something out of the movie Dune or what? <laughs> that, it really does. Oh, let me word it this way. That puts the C in graphic. Wow. Uh, we yeah. must, wow. we must, uh, I've got to, wow. I've wow. got to go. Hold on a second. I've got to go. that to, is a slut. I've got to. <laughs> oh, that is an ex-girlfriend. Yeah. That's not, uh, that's not someone making a sandwich, even though it looks like it. Wow. Wow. Wash yeah. your hands and make me a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Oh, Mommy, why man. is that woman massaging two pancakes? Oh, Wait a minute. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. A lion. Mm-hmm. I've always said, I don't. A lion? I would love. Now, I, w- I know this is crazy <laughs> that I thought about this. What now? I would never go into the wilderness and get an, and, and have a lion because they they belong. I, right. You know, you know where they belong. But if somebody like uh, maybe they worked at the zoo and there was a lion and it, and and it had to live in a house, but it had to be sedated all the time. And I How could about squeeze from it. A cub. A race from a cub. <laughs> yes. Know you. And- I would love a lion. Why? Just because they're so cute, I would just bite them all the time. <laughs> Their face. That They'll, little nose. They bite back. I believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and their dogs, teeth are bigger. Mm-hmm. Nick has raised a very interesting point. What? Which is uh, the essence of it, I think you said. Just because you like something, you don't have to have it. Well, I've always been, you know, somewhat uh, controlled by my finances. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff that even if I did want, I couldn't have. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. I mean, I, I, I literally, and I'm, uh, I I have panic attacks. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get done with the workout, and I go, I want to go get one of those really nice, like, $6 smoothies. And I'll think about it for, like, uh, can I, uh, do I, should I treat myself? Is it, uh, am I worth it? Yes, I, 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 You're I, worth six bucks. You know what yeah. says, says something? You think... I think in my head I'm probably the only one doing this. Right. I was at um, uh, 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 a place. Whole Foods, Whole Foods, mm-hmm. and they had these like expensive lemonades. I don't know how to explain it, mm-hmm. but the tops were the type where it had a metal top, and you would pull it open, and the rubber it would be a rubber seal mm-hmm. like the old yeah. days. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and it was sure. like a little bit extra. But I had friends coming in from out of town, and I know this is crazy. I thought this. I thought it'll look good in the refrigerator, you know. And I, <laughs> I was at Whole Foods, and I bought milk in the glass. I wanted it to look. Yeah. You know, like my home, it was a home, Homey. you know, like my mom's house. Right. Yeah. So I walked over and I went to buy it. It was two bucks more than regular lemonade. Mm-hmm. Then I walked away. And then mm-hmm. I went back. I went, what are you doing? <laughs> you are a full-grown adult <laughs> and over two dollars get the god dang <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> well, it worked because I'm not kidding you because, but the outcome is how I reacted. My sister-in-law was there and she mm-hmm. opened the refrigerator and, you know, I go over all my brothers are married. Their refrigerators are filled with. So I, she opens up she goes, oh, fancy lemonade. I was like, oh, yeah, you know. I, I, I didn't act like, I, I acted like, yeah, that's the type I buy. Totally <laughs> worth it. Yeah. Totally oh, worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. As I only half it's there, I left the other half in the Rolls and it's spoiled. Yeah. 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 I'm having the Rolls Royce fixed. Well, I, that's I, why I, I'm driving this. I would have got the milk in the jug, but my lion ate it. So. <laughs> yeah, my lion likes it out of the glass. <laughs> right. Yeah. My, <laughs> we all do weird. Okay. Listen, uh, I gotta memorize it though. Okay. Okay. Get, okay. Hey, tight. Hi, you've reached gold level sales leader Kenneth Tarmac. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't take your call at the moment, but your call is very important to me. I check messages every quarter hour unless in flight, in which in case I'll answer upon landing. <laughs> so after the tone, please leave me your name, two numbers, and a brief message, or you can Skype page, text. Or preferably email me at ktar underscore backslash closer dot com. Is he talking? Yeah, he's still chatting me up. Oh, God. I'll, I'll catch you later. I'll, I'll, I'll get it off of this. All right, bye. <laughs>
Oh, you oh, did? Okay. Hi, this is Carl Lewis, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> What's harder to race, boys or girls? I would uh, guess girls. 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 Mm-hmm. Boys are easy. Just give them a book of matches, they're happy. <laughs> 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 yeah, book of matches and some hands. Oh, yeah. yeah. Until oh, they turn yeah. 13 and you give them a Playboy magazine, you won't hear another word out of them until they're 25. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, Chick? You're right. Uh, oh, yeah. When you're right, you're right. Testify. I ain't seen my oldest boy in four years. <laughs> My oldest boy, he's 17, he's been driving for a year, he's had 27 accidents. My God. (laughs) In fact, I call him the David Copperfield of drivers. Oh, Oh, yes, because it's magic. (laughs) Because to hear him tell it, stuff just appears out of nowhere. He hits it. (laughs) And he's stupid. He always comes with the same excuse. I mean, he's not even a good liar. He's like, I had to swerve to miss a deer. 27 deer. <laughs> well, maybe she'd get me some deer whistles from a car. I said, son, you need mailbox whistles because that's the only thing you've been killing. <laughs> Mailman can't even deliver in the neighborhood no more. He just hands me the mail and he goes, you figure the stuff out. I, I'm done. Why do you have to get drunk to be an ass? Why do you have to get tight before you get loose? Why do you need a double before you get into trouble? Can't you get into trouble without an excuse? You want to get up and get out and get free and get crazy. But why do you have to start by getting stoned? Because, Pat, you don't have to get drunk to be an ass. You can be an ass on your own. (laughs) Hey, don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time (laughs) if this was a part. Phone. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hey. Uh, Friday morning. Got the weekend coming up. Yay! Got your robe to look forward to. Robes being delivered any day, <laughs> man. Oh, I day, hope they're not man. late. Man, man, didn't, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> didn't I get you a custom-made Washington Redskins logo robe? Yeah, I think... Um, that I had hand-sewn for you? <laughs> yeah, I think one of the mornings that you, you know, did what you do every now and then, I think I burned it in the backyard. <laughs> I get all of you nice Bob and Tom robes. Oh, white the, ones, right? White ones with the yeah. nice big logo on them. I'm sure I have embroidered that on. I, I, I ordered. That was before my time. I'm not it a robe guy. I'll get yeah. you mine. I, I ordered oh. an extra one of those so I could crap on it and then cover it up with one you got me. You gave me a robe uh, a few Christmases ago. There you go. Thank See? you, Christy. How thoughtful. How thoughtful else's... of me to get yeah. one for Chick. It's oh. in somebody else's custody. Oh God. Uh-huh. Oh. Ace had a robe taken. Is she away in custody? From her. Oh boy. I've said it before. I'll say it again. When we have to identify the body, not it. Okay. <laughs> So you're getting a new robe. What, what is this robe again? I saw the photograph. Of Pendleton. I like the Pendleton Buffalo people. plaid. Is that, is that Pendleton a brand name or a type of fabric? It's a Pendleton. It's I a, bought you a Pendleton blanket once. Yes, you are uh, just so grateful. And this, so is it a brand or a type of fabric? It's Actually, a, this is a uh, Pendleton, Pendleton scarf. scarf. Oh, yes. Wow. Still haven't gotten the answer. They do a lot of <laughs> national parks. Now that when They're you got wool. they, they, they sell, a, they sell that to men. Yeah, I I managed to, uh, I I said, I know what it looks like. Can I buy it being a man? And they said, well, okay. So uh, They have blankets that some of the money goes to support our national parks. Very nice. They're all made of wool. But most of the money goes... To the Pendleton, to Pendleton people. Why not? Yeah. They, they did the of work. Course. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, of they got the textiles. Stuff. Yeah, they make Go a nice it. product. I see. Um, and once I'm, again, it's not guaranteed that the robe's going to show up this weekend. I'm just beside myself with excitement. Oh, you I, don't know for I'm sure? Hoping Wait a minute. I'm excited oh, for it. I don't want you to be let down. Tell me, yeah, you could give a... Sh- <laughs> That's you know, not so, true. Uh, I'm, uh, I, when I get I'm going to text everybody with me uh, okay. yeah, in the robe. Is this an American product or are these from England? No, it's an American product. Actually, the old robe is... An English robe, and I, I did not care for it. Really? Was it too yeah. itchy? No, no, nothing mm. about itchy. I just, I just fell out of favor. Now, when you get the robe, uh, do you have a full-length mirror in your home? Yes, I have electricity. <laughs> <laughs> you have running water. I have running water. I have I a refrigerator. Have a You're making Pat jealous. <laughs> Stop it. Well, I don't have that. Every now and then, there, there's food in the refrigerator. There, what? I, have, I have a garage. So will with you a car? In will it? you pose yourself in front of the mirror with the? I don't think we have. Oh, to the do selfie that. where you hold the phone. So <laughs> I don't. I don't think we have to do all See that. See what it looks like from the back. I'll uh, do the. Uh, I'll do the timer and run across the room. I think oh, maybe okay. I'll do that, but I'm not going to do it in front of a. When mirror. was the last time you looked at your own beehole? <laughs> you have Never? the full length mirror. That's... I like to. Um, How do you do that? I don't. 
I don't know if an actual uh, eyeballing is uh, necessary very often. You can just Stevie Wonder it? Yeah. Go ahead, everything seems yeah, fine. Yeah, you, know, I, uh, you don't just put your camera on no. automatic and back into it? No, no, no. I'll Portrait reach around back, back, back hold, hold there. holding a flashlight. Sometimes I'll you just a, want to get a look, make sure everything's fine. I'll do a quick triage <laughs> with the hands. Uh, how would yeah, you even well, know what it's supposed to look like? Right. Well, well, I've seen plenty. <laughs> I just want to make sure mine is up to snuff. I think like a sixth sense. You're taking a whiff, too? A sixth sense comes over you and goes, oh, that does not look right. You know, yeah, stuff like yeah, that. I Absolutely. See, I, see. Uh, I have an idea. How about anything but this? Well, <laughs> actually, this kind of ties in because... Nope, we can't do anything before we do this for Tom. Hang on a second. I can't believe this is happening, but he's going... Extra. Uh-oh. 32 NFL franchises combined are worth over $100 billion. Uh, if that number was a country, it would be around the 60th largest gross domestic next product. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Countries in the world. But despite having unlimited financial and technological resources, the NFL still relies on a metal chain and humans holding them to measure first downs. Well, not for much oh, longer. Good, finally. Uh, now the chains come onto the field to decide in a big way. The whole thing's pretty sad, actually. <sighs> The NFL test is, is testing optical tracking on line to gain rulings at MetLife Stadium, Hard Rock Stadium, and at the Super Bowl this coming year. Are you happy now? There are two guys without a job. If there's support, <laughs> I have done that job. From yes. NFL team owners, oh, I've done that job. That is hard. Chain gang? Yeah, it's, <laughs> you got to you gotta watch out because every once in a while, wait a minute, there's a large fellow running at me very fast. However, the chain gang, they're not going to lose their job. Oh, good. They are going to be backups. Okay. In case something goes wrong with the when technology. When something goes wrong. When yeah. something goes wrong. When the footballs wrong. become sentient. To the technology. <laughs> are they going to finally put the, the, the chips on the football and so we they're can tell where they are? That's going what they to do need that. to do. No, they're not going. They can see where the football. No, but they, they can. I'm against this. They're taking all the human factor out of the game. Yes, it's the human no errors. Good. They're taking the I human like errors it. out no. of the game. No. Nope. Stats no are now meaningless. The, the old stats are you meaningless. You know what? Humans are meaningless anymore, apparently. Mm. Come Boy, on. Come on. Glad World I of got, robots. I know. Why don't we take off the helmets and uh, just go for it? I know. I'm keep going backwards. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. Right back to uh, <laughs> caveman. Yeah, yeah. Right back to Do the old. Uh, that's right. uh, man, this what is, is it? They, 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 oh. would, they would link their arms together to the flying wedge. <laughs> sure. They, they called it the flying wedge. The flying wedge. You're, you're oh, absolutely yeah. correct. Yes. Or the CTE, depending on your. Was the clothesline guys? What are you talking about? How many concussions? Went unnoticed. Oh, God. Oh, dude. Yeah. They have those little tiny leather helmets. Yeah. Uh, insane. Uh, what like, was the like, point of that? But it's like wearing jello on your head. <laughs> <laughs> And the you football know, was played for quite a while before the forward pass was actually oh, yeah. a thing, right? <laughs> oh, the, just taking the ball and running it into people. Yeah. Did it because was that because of rugby? Uh, no, they just didn't think throwing was, the ball was, uh, no one was skilled enough to do it. Huh. Rockney essentially went, hey, we can take this to the NFL and right. <laughs> then he would, they started winning. Now, uh, Christy Lee, what's coming up in the news? Well, Fine. we got to get to our tail story. If you've oh. ever wondered why you don't have a tail. Oh, yeah. I know that's something. And glamping in the news today. So are strip clubs. And uh, naked ladies fighting on the beach. We got all that. Yeah, <laughs> naked, lady, naked ladies fighting on the beach. <laughs> Woo! And Tom, go. be honest. Would you watch? If you... It was a naked lady. If you knew that you weren't being observed, would, wouldn't you watch two naked ladies fighting on the beach? <sighs> so it's like, what the hell is this? I, you would not turn your, you would not turn and walk away. It depends. If I were sailing and I looked on shore oh, and saw them, I, I'm the rare I, man. I, I might come about and just. Uh, <laughs> but I do I, not I, like I, watching women fight. I'm no kidding. This one. I, I might come about. It's just <laughs> one woman going crazy naked. Oh, we'll find out about well, that. That's not a fight. Uh, that's a, a brawl. Uh, insanity. Uh, this is, is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff.
it's Donnie Baker. It's come to my knowledge and attention that some dick named Scott Potasniks, Potsickers, whatever his last name is, has been bragging about going behind the scenes. Well, I got a backstage pot. I had a backstage pot. I'm allowed in here. This is a recording studio where Bob and Tom do a lot of their stuff. It's called the Static Shack. I swear to God, man, look at this right here. Spiral staircase. I mean, this is as close as I'll ever come to visiting Graceland. Man, the fact remains, they've got everything here. Look at this. They got twin towers. That's what I call them. One commode next door to another commode. I swear to God, you could drop a deuce and play Battleship. This right here is the actual behind the scenes of the Bob and Tom store. I bet you didn't know they had a store. They have to. It's state law. And if you buy stuff from BobandTom.com, you have to get it here. All kinds of tapes. Countless tapes. Even got a computer. And look, mobile staircase on wheels. You can make your own Paula Abdul videos. They even got Donnie Baker tapes. I swear to God they do. This one's mine. Prove it. And I don't care if there's a barcode. Don't fit. Yeah, man, there's more halls here than Al Capone's vaults from during medieval times. Matter of fact, somebody's in here working. Hey, man, I got a backstage pass. Oh, uh, PJ Yingers does a bunch of the artwork on the Bob and Tom albums and stuff. And he don't care if we come in here, sit on the couch and everything. No, I swear to God he does. He, I'm allowed in here. And we chit-chat and do all... And what are you going to do about... They've got everything here. This is basically Bob and Tom's Hall of Fame. You can see the Bob and Tom band, and obviously you can tell Bob's a big fan of the Beatles. There's so much in here. This is going way back. This is basically Bob and Tom's version of the History Channel. Archival tapes back before AM was even a band. I swear to God, I've looked for my rips in here. It's a lot better than Ancestry.com. Matter of fact, I got a membership and a password, and when I uploaded my picture, they transferred me to Ancestries.com. Explain that, chick. Come down here. Tell me this ain't badass. Bob and Tom got their very own strobe light. I got one too, but I still got six more payments at Spencer's. But there is probably the best place in the entire recording studio to shoot a porno, right here in this hallway. And with the strobe light, you can make the good ones. Anal. What's in here? I think this goes right to... Oh, hey, it's Alan Jackson. He's the recording master here at the Static Shack. Bragging about how he has Dolby sound and bass, whatever. Funny. I got better on Pioneer speakers. He probably makes 400 grand a year just sitting there. Again? Huh? I, look, I told you I need at least a five and a half week notice before them, you show up. Them faders need WD-40 and they're supposed to be even. I swear to God they are. Well, some people call them faders. I call them sliders. Uh, well, uh, those will give you farts. <laughs> I swear to God they will. Alan Jackson. Get it, Donnie. We're okay. busy. Okay. whatever. Prove it. Well, we've basically reached the focus point of this entire tour. This is where it happens. Right here. These are real drums. This is where bands come in to record acid rock tapes. You can name them all. Most of my bands, Dirt Knuckle, Hood Snot, Mucus Plug, but that was during our Christian rock days. But you can tell, real pine wood recording panels. They've even got soundproof herpes there's everything in here and this is where the music is made and this this room here this is uh um i don't know what this is but it basically reminds me of every haunted house i've ever been to watch your step watch your step all right now you've seen the bands this is where some of the radio stuff happens come on in here this is where bob and tom behind the scenes types do a lot of their funny skits i swear to god Tom, i built myself a shelter out of plankton and chicken bones oh, this is a mr obvious show i love you guys no, which one's mr obvious are you the caller or it's, no it's sid and bart yeah Just... wait you're the dick on the news that uh no no you I... know uh, Say Fox 59. I'm not going to do the Fox 59. This is a guy that no, knows the Powerball numbers. I swear to God he does. I could hold you for ransom. Yeah, we're security. In I'll this. manipulate it. Yeah. Now we're at the epicenter of this stupid place. This is Tom Griswold's office bragging about I went to an Ivan League college and it really ain't that big. Hell, my boss Randy's got a bigger office than this. Look got aluminum siding for walls. All these stupid pictures that he thinks are cool. Anybody can own a cartoon. 
And look, I'm glad to see Tom saved up to get Liberace's jacket. I'll say it right to his face. I swear to God, man. Uh, I just ran into Donnie Baker in the parking lot. He said he was giving a tour of the Static Shack. Yeah, and the dumbass didn't even go into the main studio. <laughs> you know we don't let Donnie into the main studio. Besides, I've got a session for Tom in a few minutes with six elbow players. an idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 6'4". Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I got, a big, I got a gigantic, I got a huge SUV. Oh, I really? just look at the rear view thinking I got to get some friends. <laughs> <laughs> rows and rows of seats, nobody in them. I just go from gas station to gas station. Hey, want to ride? Yeah. Tell them about your three-point plan for success, Greg. What is that? Where I, what? I bought the car is too expensive? Right. My house is too expensive? Right. Knock up a fat girl. I'm out of it. <laughs> yes, sir. Mr. Success, out. that's Greg Hahn. <laughs> So, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because uh, <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor, Gail, very... Um, Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is... <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. Essential Morning Radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Super cross -tick. Thank you. <laughs> no, 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 sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom um, Show. You got your guitar out there, Mr. Godwin? Sure. I was well, put it away. We're not interested. Okay. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. I want to hear some, uh, something on the on the keyboard, on the organ. Your the organ. Yeah. Specify. <laughs> Josh Arnold. I was going to ten minutes. Cosby's here. Ten whipping through his stuff. I'm Chick McGee. Um, uh, a couple yeah, quick things. Tom. Mr. Uh, Mr. Oske should be joining us later with the famous uh, oh, Fail to Mention News uh, mm. from the Fail to Mention News desk. And uh, he's going to be on stage at the Ritz. Tiffin, Ohio. This will be a great show. One of my favorite human beings is Greg Hahn. My God, that guy is as funny as anybody can be. My God, Tom. <laughs> Another favorite is a Dave Dyer, professional firefighter. Dave is a captain uh, in the, what is it, Grand Rapids Fire Department. And he's also a comedian. He's great. So it'll be Oscar, Dyer, and Hahn. Good show. Good show. Doesn't that sound like a law firm? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Have you been injured picking your nose? Oscar, Dyer, and Hahn. Well... <laughs> The Booger Refund. Um, that's going to be in Tiffin, uh, when is that? Saturday night. And uh, while I'm at it, Haywood Banks, tonight at the Wildy Theater in Edwardsville, Illinois. That's near St. Louis. All right, right look, he's got to at least call if he wants us to plug his shows. Okay, then I'm not going to mention the jukebox tomorrow night in PR. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, you should. Do no. not mention that no, one? No, do not. Oh, okay. Well, uh, and, uh, Haywood that's... will be there, but uh, <laughs> don't tell him we said anything. That's all the time we have. We'll be right back. With all right. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Pat, what do you what do you feel like playing, Pat? Do you want something for Lent? Sure, yeah, why not? It's okay, Lent. Now, now Christy, you did, have we decided you've given up nothing for Lent? Uh, no, I'd like to do something for people. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Christy, how about this? I've got I a, do like. I have an electrician friend. Yeah. <laughs> I could have him secretly hook up something. What are you saying? <laughs> so that on Monday That's you could impossible. press a button and an arch of elect arc of electricity would go from that microphone into Chick's nose. <laughs> When he says something mean, you just go, <laughs> open up his bowels, he'd be so shocked. It is Lent, and it's Friday. That means no meat for me today. Oh, yeah. You can't even taste any, huh? Uh -huh. I had a nice cheeseburger last night, though. Oh, my goodness. So no meat. Now, we had the story earlier this week about what about uh, hot you can have alligator. I can oh, have okay. alligator. Yeah, they, they're a reptile. They swim. So you could, you could eat iguana, uh, yes, chameleon. Yes, you could eat reptiles. Have yeah. you ever said that, Christy, to uh, somebody? No, I don't want to do that. It's Lent. No, I've never said that. <laughs> hmm. Why not? Yeah. Maybe you could use that. Is that, that, do that, that a Fridays. thing? Do people do celibacy for Lent? I can't Yeah, yeah maybe. Do. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'm not supposed to put Absolutely. that in my mouth. Give up. Give so up. I don't, I, don't, I, don't need the, I don't need the details of your you perverse life, Josh. Put your um, the, uh, is that a thing? I, I, I would assume, is sure. Like, is there a name for that? Like dry January, it would be? No, it's a blowy is what we're talking about. No, no we're no, talking about people lint. giving it up dry for lint. Lint. Never mind. I, I, sorry. Pat, is your song ready? I've been it's the, been ready. I had no idea. Yeah, they give me the signal. <laughs> Something for Lent. I uh, lent this to a neighbor once. You never returned my rake 
and you don't cut your lawn. You play Skinner on the weekends loud. Some nights till the crack of dawn. Turn it down. <laughs> you got a mean old dog, cars on block six, kids, a dead oak tree, and your brawless elderly mom is on the porch for all to see. Oh, I've never been so annoyed living next to you at tonight's neighborhood party. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slow dance with your mother at the backyard barbecue. Get her all hot and bothered, even though she's 82. I'll put on Freebird and get your mom to dance. She'll have one hand on my butt and the other down my pants. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. I'll dirty dance with your mama. <laughs> Make her boobs jiggle and shake. <laughs> and I'll bet you by tomorrow you'll return my rake. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a whole different kind of lens. Yeah, that's a lending, really. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Once again, from Food and Wine magazine. Uh, some Catholic officials have ruled that alligator, beaver, and capybara are okay to eat during Lent. The beaver and capybara, that's a stretch. I mean, that was from like the 1700s. Yeah, but we, 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 we did determine that the rules on this are kind of spotty. Kind of local. Kind of regional. Mm -hmm. And what did you say your priest said to you? Your your friend in Arizona? Uh, in Idaho? Oh, I'm sorry, Idaho, sorry. I can't remember. What did he say? Didn't you Didn't you contact him about Yes, me? I did. I did contact him. He said, him. please stop contacting He said, don't ever call. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You've been, what do they call it, disenfranchised? What's the word? What is it again? Excommunicated. Yeah, I was close. No, no, he said we were correct that you could eat alligator for Lent. That is absolutely right. I'll hmm. look There's it a up place. Again. There's a, a couple places I know where you can actually get alligator around here. Like uh, uh, in the restaurant or in the grocery uh, store? Uh, uh, grocery store. Okay. Or it, yeah, they have all kinds of exotic stuff. Um, I don't know if they have beaver. And it's up to snuff? I mean, it's a, a clean... It's frozen, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think I'd... Uh, no. One of our favorite fish restaurants, seafood restaurants, uh, will sometimes have it. Really? Oh, yeah, in their, free, right, in their yeah. freezer. Yeah. No right kidding? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. That's, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Would you, eat, would you even consider having capybara? No. I don't know. Then that's, not. that's the big rat, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a rodent. World's largest rodent. I yeah. try it, it, you know, when in Rome, if I'm uh, in that area, what, what the hell, the, near the Amazon or whatever? Yeah, somewhere like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't get the thought out of my head that it's a giant rat. Yeah. I mean, if it's good for anacondas, maybe it's good well, for us. Yeah, they do love it, don't they? I don't know. I have to train the, those goat tacos. I'm, I'm You're sticking, a little leery of... I'm sticking with... Uh, of exotic meat. American meat. <laughs> Well, you I think goats are American. And, uh, <laughs> not, not, well, not where the place I got it. Though. Where did you? Yeah, you must. You went. Christie's been there. <laughs> well, well, I it's know not, what you're uh, about. But it's not the food truck in Austin, right? No, no, no. That was great. No, this was a, uh, it's a uh, restaurant of a certain ethnicity that had. Uh, had uh, <laughs> Always they, the shot. They had, they had goat tacos. <laughs> their beef tacos and their chicken tacos were delightful. Didn't care for the goat. The goat, it, it tasted slightly of turpentine, mm. I thought. Now I remember Father John didn't really? contact me about Lent. He contacted me about the swinging pots, remember? Oh, oh that's yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I love right. that band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're good. What was their hit? Uh, uh, I was going, wait a Way down on the... Uh, uh, double shot of my baby's love. The they're called pots. a thurible. Those incense pots. No, that's a thurible. 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 What is it again? Oh, the, oh so the pots, the, the incense oh, are Say it slower. A, a thurible. T-H-U-R-I-B-L-E. Yeah, Josh, who you doing an impression of what thurible. basketball player? Charles Barkley. <laughs> thurible. thurible. What, thurible. What basketball player? It's thurible. I was trying to, in, case you, in case you'd forgotten thurible. I was trying to. Uh, no, no, I remember. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Scientists have identified the genetic mutation that explains why humans... Being uh, why human beings do not have tails. All right. Somewhere around tw uh, 20 million or 25 million years ago, when apes diverged from monkeys, our branch of the tree of life shed its tail. Mm -hmm. After comparing six species of apes, including humans, as well as 15 species of monkeys with tails, scientists were able to pinpoint the key differences and identify the specific mutation responsible for our tailless backside. This is cool. To test their theory, they used a gene editing tool to tweak the same spot in mice embryos, which were then born without tails. Oh, I see. That's tricky. 
Can you yeah. imagine a bunch of mice sitting around listening to this story and right at the end they go, well, yeah. we've uh, had a breakthrough with the mice. What? A what? Oh, no. What, what's this? <laughs> you're, you're supposed you're to have a tail? What to, to a mice? What? What are you doing? <laughs> so it's a gene thing. Yep. It's a gene thing. But, gene genie. Um, it'd be interesting if, I, can you imagine if humans had tails? Ugh. I think it would be very competitive like other aspects of our morphology, if you will. You know oh, the size? You know, like Kim Kardashian would have a really fancy big tail. And oh, I see what you're saying. Talking sure. about it on TV yeah. all the time. And look at my gigantic tail. I, had it, I, had it. I think if we had tails, I think even at this point, if you had a tail attached, physically attached, surgically attached, you could move it somewhat. It would still be prehensile in some you way? Think? I don't think prehensile means prehensile, you can pick but stuff you could, up, right? You could move it. You could shake Just your like bot, shake it a little. Okay. Yeah. bottom and Well, like you move. can move your, uh, you know, you can move your uh, every now and then a right. little. A little. Oh, right, okay. right. Yeah. Like Jason Alexander and Shallow Howe had a big exactly. uh, vestigial yeah. tail exactly. and he could, he could wag it. Exactly. A little huh. wagging. Huh. Yeah. Huh. But I'm talking about a bigger tail than that even. Right. Yeah. Do you think anyone has had one surgically Put on. Oh, yes. that it happens. Well, yeah. Absolutely, it happens. You think? Absolutely. Wow, that's odd. Where, where do they get the flesh? Yeah, what is the? I wonder what, what the is flesh it made is. Out of? Yeah, it's uh, capybara meat. Is it really? No, <laughs> that is know. the most similar flesh to the human. I'm gonna look this up. It's very similar. No, it's uh, <laughs> what's different between a, adding a tail, an appendage, or uh, getting your ears stretched, or well, you've you've got to have flesh to work with here. Well, I know that, but where would you get it? Well, we cut off your leg, but now you've got a nice tail. Oh, they could probably stretch, take a part of it out and use that skin for your tail. So this has never happened is what you're saying. So like giant breast implants, obviously they don't need new flesh. They stretch what's there. You're exactly. saying they would do the same with oh, so well, let's stretch the skin from the small of your back. That's exactly ah, right. Okay. That's exactly how they could turn your then you could anus inside out. That's and, true. Uh, <laughs> and then you would be walking backwards. It's like all a sausage time. casing, I would imagine. That'd be quite the There's look. a robotic <laughs> tail. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> okay, Jake. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what, you... That's what I'm talking about. Can you hang from a tree? How would you sit add, down? Add some uh, How... color to it. Show it to Tom. How yes. would you sit down on that? What yes. are you supposed to do with that? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it looks like an elephant trunk. Yes. Yes, yes. it's bigger than a... Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Wait, it's, who... it's... You'd have to change a... all your chairs. Who finds that appealing? Uh, but people, people Boy, do. That's terrifying. Absolutely. That is terrifying. Well, it's like from Stan Winston Studios. <laughs> Nobody's using that for anything. Oh. Ah, what's the guy with the stop? Henry Harry Harryhausen. Bray oh Harry yeah. Harry. yeah, yeah. The stop motion dude. Yeah, stop motion. Yeah. <laughs> the team at Kyo University in Tokyo created the jointed appendage worn at the waist. They say it could help steady people with balance problems. Yeah, they do. Oh, I right. almost yeah. fell down, but my tail <laughs> caught me. Is that how they got the grant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and provide yeah. an extra margin of safety for construction workers and That's other right. physical laborers working in precarious or physically challenging we spent environments. $2 billion to help the mildly dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell off the building, but my tail caught me. <laughs> Can I tell you about Simply Safe? Yes, Please, you may. won't be you? Design it yourself. Do it yourself, home security system. Oh. You know, FBI property crime data shows that most home break ins happen in broad daylight. And now, as the days are getting longer, protect your home with Simply Safe. Get that hard to find, everyone's searching for it, peace of mind with Simply Safe, the award winning home security with experts and customers love Simply Safe for comprehensive protection. It was just named Best Home Security System of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report and recognized as Best Customer Service in Home Security by Newsweek. Advanced technology protects every room, window, and door of your home. Cameras keep watch for suspicious activity 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And professional monitoring 24-7 for less than a dollar a day. No long-term contract ever. You will get the emergency response you need at around half the cost of traditional home security easy to install the system yourself or you can have the professionals do it if you'd like uh, test it out yourself with simply safe's 60-day risk-free trial don't love your system well return it for a full refund protect your home today and get that peace of mind and bob and tom show listeners get a special 20 percent off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. And there's no safe 
Like Simply Safe. Hmm, I'm thinking about this tail thing still. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't blame you. Yeah. If we had tails, there's a couple good things going on here. Yeah, like All what? Right. You right. couldn't be in a hurry getting out of your car. No. Ooh. Can you, you imagine sh- that? Oh, oh you think it hurts? Shut your finger in the car. It'd be door. hard yeah. to buy pants. <laughs> yeah. Shut your tail. In wow. Well, you'd have no, to wear they, a skirt or you'd something. Have to wear a zi- you'd have to have a zipper in the front and in the back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They just you just put your tail outside. It would become uh, yeah. accepted okay. and common. I know a woman who got one of these and she got breast implants at the same time. Oh, yeah? yeah. A tail and two tails. <laughs> 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 You, you know, you, you know, you actually, you know, you, you know, if I didn't have to go to the bathroom right now, I'd, I'd say, let's just stay here and okay. enjoy our last few minutes on the end. Uh, th- this is the Bob and Tom show. Hi, this is comedian Sean Morey, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, Sean Morey, Mark Allison here with you. Hey, we've had a great week of guests here on the Bob and Tom Show. Certainly hope you've been able to catch the majority of the shows. Of course, we only ask you to listen 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Peter Frampton, perhaps you've heard of him, rock and roll legend. Uh, He's up for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and again, you can vote for him. Let's get Peter Frampton in, Bob and Tom fans. Just vote for Peter at vote.rock. Well, the church burned down and no one knew what Pentecost Baptist was going to do. The brimstone gets to that gum hot, it burned up a church bus in the parking lot. In a panic, the Reverend Dr. White called up an ex-member that hadn't lived right. He owned Joe's beer joint right across the fence. It's the same Joe's he preached against. He said, I don't really want to be a hypocrite. I got a Sunday school class about to have fits. We're all excited about revival week and been moved by the Spirit, so to speak. With all the souls we saved and money we spent, we thought God told us to sell that tent. I got a famous evangelist supposed to come. I've run out of chairs. Will you loan us some? <laughs> Joe said, well, you can just use the whole dang place. Ain't hey, nine on a jukebox, amazing grace. I ain't supposed to be open because of them blue laws, but we'll open the ninth. It's all right with you. Preacher says, well, I reckon it'd be okay. The good Lord works in mysterious ways. He's going to talk about Joshua, Judges, and Ruth, and I reckon I could do it from the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> At the First Baptist Bar and Grill, it's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. When the sinners finish one more round, we'll have dinner on the ground and go inside and pray we don't get killed. The evangelist came with a well-dressed choir. They showed up around happy hour, looked around the joint, and didn't take it real well, said the white ministry has gone to hell. <laughs> Ms. Mills had taught youth Sunday school and two dickens in the back room shooting pool were sharing the Lord with the Jim Beam rep who was teaching Ms. Mills some line dance steps. <laughs> Reverend White was reading from the book of Luke to a tall, drunk trucker about to puke at John 316 memorized, trying to dry him out to get him baptized. <laughs> the evangelist yelled about the lights and the beer, said, White, you can't save any soul in here. This place ain't nothing but a den of sin. Ain't the kind of place Baptist ought to be in. Preacher says, well, we don't really need y'all here. You didn't do a very good job last year. You only saved one sinner. That's Todd McGuire. He's a little son bitch. Set my church on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's beer joint has done been revived. Only been here an hour and it done saved five. Sure, it's got mirrors and a big dance floor, but I finally found the flock God called me for. <laughs> They're at the First Baptist Bar and Grill. It's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. I'm trying to think, make sure I don't cuss in here, because usually in the show I do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we're here every Sunday. We're living large. We're the only church with a cover charge. And if you don't like our doctrine and think we ain't devout, we'll have our bouncer throw your ass out. Of the First Baptist Bar and Grill. Oh, yeah. I'm sick <laughs> of being sick. <laughs> I've been in my bed all week. I feel like dick. <laughs> I'm sick of my TV. Now I'm hooked on all the soaps on ABC. I try to read a magazine or hear the radio or watch the bad news bears again on 
to Bob and Tom Radio. It's time once again for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it, it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in, in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I f***ing asked. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> I got thrown out of J.C. Penny the other day. Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> you believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh-huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. Essential Morning Radio. All day and all night. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's been quite the week. We've learned (laughs) many, many things about our world and each other. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Did we learn everything? Really? No, certainly not. We haven't learned. We haven't even scratched the surface. So, in other words, we forgot to do some news stories? There were some news stories that uh, slipped through the cracks, oh, if you will. Oh, that even, never happens here. Even those we did, uh, sometimes we leave about? out information. I mean, oh! You mean news we failed to mention? Oh, wait a minute, <laughs> there's Jeff that. Oske. Look That's that. right, baby, I'm here. I'm <laughs> loving it. <laughs> there's got to be a way to get you a, um, uh, a tie, a neckwear sponsor or something. So, are you wearing Chris Bangles tie? No, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a tie with my face. It and has and two of Spangle. my bosses on this tie. I love it. <laughs> How many bosses are you up to these days? Uh, seven. <laughs> last count. I, seven. Seven bosses. I love it every second of it. Uh-huh. And uh, I'd like to say to Chick and Josh, uh, Chick yesterday uh, using some words, Josh today, uh, uh, you guys, uh, my, my resume updated itself and posted it. On Indeed itself. <laughs> wow. Because it's so... That's exciting. I need this job. Please shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we give you a lot of the news each week, but we don't give you all the news, so I'm here to give you the news that we failed to mention. Now, here's Jeff Oskay with what you failed to mention news. Pew, 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 pew. <sighs> uh, we learned Viagra reduces the risk of Alzheimer's. Uh, what you... Failed to mention, it helps men bone up on their past details from their lives. <laughs> bone up. Bone up, you see. It sounded like you didn't uh, even want to deliver that. Uh, no. <laughs> well, you bailed like halfway through. Yeah. 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 I do that with a lot of things. Well, <laughs> Marriages, yeah. Just, payments on credit no, cards. Uh-huh. Stay right there, man. Stay in it. Keep your head you down. Got this. Okay. All Some right. porn company is offering masturbation breaks at work. Oh. Well, you failed to mention, uh, <laughs> when is any work going to done after your masturbation break then you have to take a smoke break (laughs) and just for the record every company offers masturbation breaks at work they just aren't aware of it (laughs) absolutely where's math i haven't seen god (laughs) a drug dealer was busted a few weeks back after giving out samples of his cocaine (laughs) with his business card stapled to the back of it what you failed to mention uh First day on the job there, drug dealer? <laughs> uh, this isn't Costco. You don't have to give out free samples. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, cocaine sells itself. <laughs> yeah. Steaming up my glasses. All right. Uh, 50 pounds of gum 
were removed from the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Oh, that's uh, so sad. What you failed to mention, uh, come to find out, the rocks weren't actually even red. It's just all the people's discarded big red chewing gum. <laughs> oh, didn't help it. Okay. Uh, this one, I'll be honest, I had prepared something else for today, and on the way in, I chickened out. So I did all of these last minute. That's why they are exactly how they normally are each week. A Japanese zoo held an escaped animal fire drill to prepare in case an animal ever escaped its enclosure. Well, you failed to mention over at a Hong Kong zoo, they tried a Chinese fire drill, but all the animals ended up outside of their cages. <laughs> <laughs> Swapping cages. Does that make sense? I don't know. It does, yeah. yeah. That, that sure. may offend someone, but I found it amusing. <laughs> Thank you. A high, me offend something? I don't know if you heard this German guy who stopped by earlier. Yeah. I don't think we have to worry about me offending anyone. No. A tale of two babies. <laughs> Here we go. A high school art teacher was accused of selling his students' paintings online. Uh, what you failed to mention, authorities were tipped off after every uh, piece of stolen art came with a free refrigerator magnet. <laughs> Kids are <aren't. laughs> spangle oh, right here on yeah, the top. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, thanks, <laughs> Normally, I like you. Let's make me a little woozy. I had to think for a second. Uh, Kansas, a uh, Kansas town broke two pancake world records for International Pancake Day. <laughs> what you failed to mention, I tried setting a pancake flipping record. All it got me was thrown out of Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, women over uh, now have uh, AI boyfriends over in Japan. Yeah. Uh, well, you failed to mention all fun and games till she needs her Corolla's oil change. <laughs> Darn it! I can't say words. That's right. Yeah. That's what right. She, she, she was going to change her oil. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. I, that would have been an easier way to phrase it. Well, no, it. yeah. No, it's very but, funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was it again? Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> an AI, from, AI boyfriend AI from Japan. AI boyfriend. Yeah. Right, okay. change her oil. Yeah, no, no. She's going to need a real man She's at some point. She's going to need a real man for that. <laughs> I see. Maybe uh, go to right. Jiffy Lube. Uh, they do a nice work there. Yeah, I'm they a big, do. I'm a big yeah, fan. They do a nice job down there. <laughs> you taught us that movie theaters are filled with dangerous bacteria. Mm. Uh, what you failed to mention, I'm usually mad when people ruin one movie for me. So you can imagine how furious I am that you've ruined all all movies for me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, there's got to be a sound effect. Oh, there, there we go. it is. Uh, some girl set a new world record by wearing 45 sweaters at once. What you failed to mention, <laughs> no pulling the wool over her eyes. <laughs> there's no more room. No more room. Pew, pew, pew. A man pew. trying to take a selfie with a lion is dead now after being mauled by said lion. <laughs> What you failed to mention on a positive, his mulling got over 100,000 likes on World Star. <laughs> and uh, that was the news. We failed to mention. Hey! Oh, I'm so glad that's over. Hey, oh. Oh. Jeff Oskin. <laughs> Nobody dislikes their own segment more and than Jeff. Jeff. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Right? We all love it. I know. No, I, I don't get uh, it. Jeff will be doing part of that live, I'm hoping, when he goes to Tiffin, Ohio, tomorrow night with Greg Hahn and Dave Dyer at the Ritz. If you missed this show and you're in Ohio, what's wrong with you? Come on. No matter how far away you are, it's worth the drive. Mm -hmm. That's right. It'll be a fine, fine show. That's what it's going to be. Well, let's see. Where, where, where do we leave you last, Christine? Uh, well, you Oh, you're talking me. about the why, why, why we don't have tails. Right. That's kind of cool. Oh, you wouldn't want a tail? No. No. no way. Hassle. No. What did you say? Hassle. Oh, I thought you said wow. hassle. Hassle. Can you, you imagine? That would have too. Could you get that H a little harder? <laughs> Can you imagine Tom seeing someone with a tail for the first time? Oh, he would mm. lose his mind. He would freak out. Yeah. Avatar, have you seen that? They have tails in yeah, that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'm and I'm sorry. I know those are great movies. The I, Naboo, not, not my cup of tea. Dude. I love Avatar. Really? So pretty to look at. I like it's socialist. Oh my gosh. Colonialism. <laughs> what? Oh nothing. It's a simple story. Oh. He's uh, <laughs> singing Dust Capital. <laughs> a restaurant in Vancouver, Canada, was forced to close for three days after being caught allowing guests 
to dance. How dare they? Footloose, I say. <laughs> the Tocador, a Latin food and cocktail bar in no, Mount Pleasant. Welcome to the Tocador. Tocador. Sounds like a bong. Doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't uh, Tocador sound like the, what do you call it, the sommelier of pot? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I will be your Tocador. <laughs> William, I am your Tocador. Yes. Said it was written up for allowing guests to dance or for being over capacity by about 20 people on New Year's Eve. According to CTV News. Canadian television. That's right. It is illegal to dance in restaurants in Vancouver with city bylaws stating that a class one with liquor service business license, quote, does not include customer participation in karaoke, dancing, or open microphone performing. Hmm. Wow. The, uh, wow. It's this right. This is Canada. Yeah. Three-day penalty for dancing. Hockey player punches a guy in the face and breaks his teeth out. <laughs> Five minutes in the penalty box. <laughs> That's fair. Uh huh. This is insane. This is crazy. That I think that. What's law also needs mean, if, to be... what's also interesting is this makes the news in Canada. Uh huh. That is really boring. <laughs> well, we were hoping to report on some murders, but there weren't any. <laughs> they we were this, fresh out. We have this great story about dancing. I'd rather have that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. No. Uh, you know something, Christy? Yes. You have a sweet soul. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've also had research that's discovered that live music emotionally moves us more than streamed music. For the study, scientists... Oh, come on. <laughs> no, this, I, this, I read this one. Now, you would agree with this because you and your vinyl weirdos... No, the, no, 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 no. No, this no. is live in-person music. Oh. Seeing a band. Yes. So this, is obvious, this is sort of obvious, I yeah, yes. seeing, this, seeing a band... Right, over listening oh, to yeah. it on your yeah. phone or something. Okay. Oh, really? So when you're in the grocery store... Yeah, and, that's, that's uh, live, and right? Your, and your yeah. favorite artist comes over the thing that's as yeah. moving as when you go and you drive to Chicago. Who you, You're driving yeah. to Chicago to see somebody, Bob right? Bob Schneider. Yeah. 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 Driving to Chicago to see Bob yeah. Schneider. Or I'll sit in my driveway in my new robe <laughs> and listen <laughs> to Bob on my car on my, um, on my uh, Don't you think it's, it's great when you, you go to a place and you're sitting around for a fun and they come out and go, are you ready to rock? Yeah. You go, yeah, we've been sitting here for I hours. I never say God yes. Sakes. I say, give us five minutes. Yes. Yeah, yeah well, I'm not ready. You know, actually, now that you mentioned it, I have to use the bathroom real quick. Hold Thank up. you. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. This is a scientific thing. Didn't they use, like, probes in people's well, brains? Well, I would like to finish for the study. <laughs> so <would> I. <laughs> Scientists used magnetic resonance imaging to measure the activity of the brain's emotional center when listening to a pianist in real time. When listening to a penis in we pianist, real time. A pianist. Yeah. I can hear the ocean. When did they change that, by the way? What? It was always pianist growing up. Now it's pianist, isn't it? Yeah, I'd probably growing up. What? <laughs> oh, never mind. I saw one uh, on a horse. That was the first time I saw one. And it was Wait, like... The first time I saw a horse one, I thought, my Man. God. And then they also... Weevil what's the old joke? No, I said a five-inch pianist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like what? that. No, what's the joke where the guy's in the bar and there's this little uh, yeah. six-inch kid what? This is a six inch uh, running around, <laughs> tipping over everybody's drinks. So I don't want what? To, this guy's a six inch dick. Remember? Oh, that one I found. Oh, you never heard that, that one? one. They listen. No, 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 that's not the joke. You, you've got it. You've got it completely wrong. Let me tell wrong. you something. That's the joke. Okay? No. <laughs> that is absolutely We all know no. nobody tells a joke like Chip. What Come the on. hell's going on? The bartender said, I wish for a six inch. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, right? No. The, 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 no, there's a little guy playing a piano. No, he's not playing the piano. Yeah. No, he's running up and down the dark bar knocking over drinks. There are so. two jokes here. He's being yeah. a real yes. dick. One is about a five-inch pianist, <laughs> and the other is about a six-inch, yeah. Oh! oh as I, I live see. and breathe, oh, ladies and geez. gentlemen. Oh. got a joke told. I'll never forget there. Are these Dr. Tom Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, he's three really little fellas. Yeah, yeah three of them. Uh, a little tiny. Oh, real tiny. Yeah, How tiny would you say? Uh, they're, they're, they're called little people. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and that uh, first one steps up, and he goes, uh, you know something? I bet I have the smallest hands in the world. Oh. Wow. Can you use one of your hands to turn, turn your music down? Yeah. <laughs> that really helped us out. Ace, then for God's sake, turn joke. down the music. <laughs> Not Ace. You ding you. Hey, so he sends it off to the uh, <laughs> Guinness Book of World Records people. Uh-huh. And he gets back a, a letter saying, you, sir, have the 
Mm-hmm. Smallest hands in the world. <laughs> <Okay>. It's official. <laughs> and this next little fella. Congratulations. This next little fella, and he's about this big. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, like, yeah. Up, like up to your knee, Josh. Yeah. This is a small man. Yeah, very small. He goes, you know, somebody, I have the world's smallest feet. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they pack up that letter. They send it off to those Guinness World Record folks. Oh. And they, uh, they send it back a letter saying, sir, you officially have the smallest feet in the world. All right. <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing. And third fella says... Uh, how about I have the world's smallest male member? Oh. So they, uh, they take some photographs with a ruler and stuff, and they <laughs> send it off to the Guinness Book of World's Record people. And yeah. They want to get it validated, and they're all sitting there at the bar, and the and the mail comes back, and it's got Guinness there on the outside. Oh, this is this is going to be it. I'm going to be validated to get that record. <laughs> so the guy, uh, he takes that envelope, he opens her up, and he looks at the thing, and he goes, uh, oh, I have the... World's second smallest <laughs> penis in the world. Oh, oh no. no. Really? Yeah. Who the hell is Chick McGee? <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Very nice. I had not heard that. That joke had not entered into any of the No, no. no it were, wasn't anywhere we were ball. talking we were, about. Yeah. yeah, it was a true story from the Old West. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what is the gist of this story then? I'm they sorry. They used MRIs and they found out that if you were listening to live music <laughs> while someone was performing it in front of you live, it, you, it elicited a much higher and more consistent activity in the brain than if you were listening to just streaming or recording. I would think so, yeah. Makes There's sense. an emotional element to it, sure. I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little penis. I mean, do you ever find yourself, <laughs> Josh, do you ever find yourself at your home? Mm-hmm. Off. Uh, uh, blasting one of your favorites. Yeah. And doing like a mosh pit thing in your living room by yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll dance a little bit, but not. I've, I've never slammed against the walls or furniture or anything like that. My dogs hate dancing. My if cat I start doesn't like dancing. They jump on top. Like, oh. stop! No, we don't really? want you to do that. Yeah. Hmm. They won't no, dance but, with me. But Trick, would you not admit that? I know, for example, you are going to see a, a show soon, where you're going to be getting in your car, driving off a long way. Sure, you get a little more emotionally involved because you think I just paid 150 bucks for this. I better sure get involved. <laughs> oh well, then uh, for the hotel, I mean, hotel I, I, I and get food into the and show oh, for free. Well, sure, you know and, people. And Bob will probably buy my lunch, and my dinner. <laughs> right? I yeah. hope so. You're learning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're going to pay for God's sake. Aren't you going to pay? For what? You're not going to let him buy you dinner, Oh, you? I'm going to take advantage of him so friends every, do. every turn. That's exactly <laughs> Sure. Of course I'm going to buy him dinner or whatever he needs. Okay. Maybe I'll get him a harmonica. Oh, how Isn't nice. Isn't that nice? What key? <laughs> uh, C. Yeah, just go with the standard <laughs> C. Yeah. Standard C. Yeah. Get yeah. something weird, like a something you can play with a French horn. <laughs> what is that, F sharp or something? <laughs> <laughs> I forget. Uh, well, that was fun. That was good. Yeah. That's a fascinating story. Thank you very much, yeah, Christine. You're welcome. What's coming up? Who the hell's Chick McGee? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a little feller. A little feller came in second. <laughs> Poor little feller. <laughs> little guy. Uh, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show to brighten your day. That's uh-huh. right. This is sponsored by BetterHelp. What BetterHelp is uh, all about is uh, helping you help yourself, getting your uh, getting your mental health where it needs to be to have a great 2024. Always looking for some extra time, of course. If you have that time, maybe go to the gym, take a nap, maybe read a book, uh, talk with some friends. Uh, maybe take some time for yourself and making your mental health a priority. And uh, one of the ways to do that that's a lot easier, getting access to to therapy has become a lot easier thanks to better help more than 25,000 participating uh, uh, counselors that can help you uh, therapists that know what they're talking about and uh, here's how you do it you uh, fill out a brief questionnaire online you'll get matched with a licensed therapist and by the way you can switch therapists at any time no extra charge and then uh, this is the uh, the simple and great part of this the therapy itself is done online so you don't have to leave work. You don't have to stop what you're doing. You don't have to drive somewhere and, and sit in the waiting room. None of that. It's all based on uh, flexibility and your time schedule. You make it work for yourself to hook up with the therapist online. And I should point this out. Um, you're going to uh, find it significantly easier 
and you can do it in a couple different ways. You can do it like a phone call. You could do it like you're uh, doing a Zoom call or a FaceTime or like you're uh, texting back and forth. Whatever works for you. That's what this is all about, uh, giving yourself a, a break by making it easier. Check out BetterHelp by going to BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. The slash BT Show part will knock 10% off your first month. BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Coming up, ah, it's been a great week, and we're going to find out what the significance is of the first of March. All right. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 20. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. I can't help but notice, sir, you're wearing extremely tight, um, uh, what are those called? They are called Lycra Spandex Pursuit Pants. Uh, now, is, pursuit? That a, is that a potato in the front there? or uh, <laughs> Tom. Glad to see you. Tom. <laughs> Tom. Sorry. It looks like Jim and the twins are pretty cozy this morning, sir. <laughs> Hurts to advertise. Yeah, man. I guess it does. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. He's smuggling topsoil for an offshore development project. Well, yeah, I, I always in well, a White Castle. Really? Yeah, I was. Uh, God, I was so drunk, I thought I was in McDonald's. I ordered a quarter pounder. I got 500 hamburgers. Though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say to you? Help me. Hey, okay, thank you. Pick a number between 1 and 50. We'll ask our guest, then I'll just hit a random sound effect. We'll see if it fits the commercial. All right. 150, Clinton. Pick a number. 35. 35. That's Andy Moore Ford. Uh, 35. Here we go. Heavenly deals. At there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think you've died and gone to pick car another. Heaven. Pick another number. And Clinton. Andy Moore for uh, 27. 27. Andy Moore for electrifying deals. <laughs> <at> Andy <laughs> Moore. <laughs> okay, pick another number. Go ahead, Clint. A any number. Eight. Eight. Okay. Oh Lord. Oh dear. They have body a shop. <laughs> they have a body shop. <laughs> and they more. Four. Any other number? Go ahead. Pick one more. Nineteen. That's. <laughs> That's our manager screaming at the fabulous deals you'll find Where is that? at Andy Moore Ford. Okay. This is the Bob and Tom it's Show on, this morning. Man, I wish I'd lived here today's show. Me too. <laughs> um, um, I wish I was here. Yeah. You know, there's a reason I'd never heard of this band. Why? Because this guy had to have his penis cut off for publicity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I prefer I prefer musicians who can actually make it on their skill, not on their lack of a dick. <laughs> so. Yikes. I, I knew you did. I know how to make it in show That's business. What I <laughs> Yikes. I know how to make it in show business. First we whip it out, and then we take a cleaver. Mm -hmm. How does he pee? Yeah. Sitting down. <laughs> or all yeah. over the place. Yeah, well, <laughs> that was the video. No, that's not like true. That. How does he pee? Depends. <laughs> Okay, never Ooh. mind. Ooh. Sorry I asked. Hard copy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this exclusive. Dogs die in the cargo hold? Occasionally. Occasionally. And then they just replace them with a dog that looks similar. They got a big <laughs> they got a big dog farm for these things, man. All uh, the airlines oh, share the same dog Yeah, uh, Dave, uh, Dave, we need a Shih Tzu. Uh, uh, brown face, white feet. Uh, <laughs> we need a, we need a sh Shih Tzu uh, Gate C27. Uh, it's a number yeah, eight. Yeah. Bring it down and, number uh, eight. Another, another Newfie uh, coming, in, uh, <laughs> coming in on United. Try 
to take care of that. Yeah, he's you? stiffer than a board. Come on in. Okay. <laughs> the big danger at this time of year is the heat. If you, you know, they were down there, and if the plane is delayed on the, you know, tarmac for any reason, it can be a problem. Mm-hmm. So, mm. That was just a story this week that came out. Do the People right thing. Drive your dog. Geez. Warning folks that are flying their dogs about that. There you go. I ain't making this up. And if it's a small dog, like a little tiny little hand dog. Yeah, you can put it underneath your seat. No, just throw it out the window because those aren't real dogs. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't real dogs. This is cool. You know, I like doing radio. How can you change a dinosaur's <laughs> name? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. halfway through. Do you know halfway this, through. <laughs> do you know what the smallest dinosaur was? Uh, what? The clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> little red, pinkish thing. Well, congratulations. Wow. You yeah, finally got it, got it on here. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> See, all that, all that filthy lunch talk, and now it's on the air. Are you happy now? Little Are you a big man saying uh, clitoris? Is that it? <laughs> See, I always thought the, I thought the smallest one was the lick a lot of puss, but apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. It's not on air, it's online. Bob and Tom 24 7. Comedian Nathan Trenholm in the studio with us. Now, Nathan, where, where are you living now? I'm, uh, I'm living in Los Angeles now. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I live with a guy and a girl. And uh, actually, the last time I was in town, I had some cookies. And I offered some of the cookies to my roommates. And the girl just got all mad at me. She's like, Nathan, I'm an actress. Actresses can't have carbohydrates. <laughs> I was like, you know, you mispronounce that word. Uh -huh. It's pronounced waitress. <laughs> You're a waitress. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. <laughs> Because I'm blind. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24 7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the internet. Hey there. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Stronger than dirt. Stronger than dirt. Freddy's BO is, is stronger than dirt. dirt. Lovely. Yeah, you're welcome. Time now for Today in History. Stop the music. Not oh. the Ides of, uh, what? What? Today was supposed to be a special double shot. Bruce Van. Yeah. 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 That's right. Hey, Chick. Hey, Chick. Yes, Ace. What did the tired dragon make for dinner? I guess. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, Ace. What did the tired dragon make for dinner? Flaming young. <laughs> that was Ace Cosby's joke. He sold it. Yeah, he, did. he did sell it. He can't get him upset about his performance. No. <laughs> All the content, we can just be so. Flaming yawn. Yeah. yeah. Flaming yawn. He's tired. Yeah, he's tired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Flaming oh, yeah. yawn. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, I'm sorry. Where were we? I, history, I oh, think. Oh, what day is today? March 1st Son is what really. you promoted. Okay. Bitch, look at this. Chicken back. Look at this. <laughs> what do you got here? Uh, oh. uh, the uh, uh, 1692, the Salem witch hunt oh, yeah. begins. Mm. And right after uh -huh. that was the uh, camel witch hunt. And then well, the and, Winston and, winch, and the, witch hunt. Uh, <laughs> it's, interesting it's interesting because the phrase witch hunt is still part of our language. Sure. Um, it this was is not, a witch hunt. Not yeah. looking for real witches. <laughs> right. And as I pointed out yesterday, when is the last time, Josh, you saw a witch? Let's start that it's up. It's been a little while. So that maybe, uh, maybe it worked. What do you mean? What do you... What are you trying to say? Hey. Okay. What? Hey. No, 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 no. Nobody said anything. Rock it's okay. We're cool. Your ass so We're fast. cool. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're cool. Don't turn me. <laughs> Dude, you're going to get hexed. He turned me into a newt. <laughs> um, Captain America. Yeah. Made his first appearance in a comic in what year, Josh? Oh, man. I'm going to guess uh, oh, 50. 
I'm going to guess 46. Uh, 42. 41. Ooh, ah, bad. Kind of, kind of a World War Close. II thing. Yeah, yeah I would have thought something. it would have been post-World War yeah, II. You That's would, why. You no. would wrong. A very uh, wrong. <laughs> is there a Captain South America? <laughs> there he is. Yes, Esteban de Jesus. <laughs> Like he fights crime in Argentina. I don't know. I'm just asking. He speaks Portuguese. That'd be, uh, uh, do you know that Captain America invented Frisbee golf? No, I did I not didn't know, know that. that. I thought it was Bucky. I know. <laughs> um, Are you sure? Uh, here's a good one. 1961, uh, John Kennedy establishes the Peace Corps. Still out there doing great stuff. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Uh, yeah, bravo. In 1969, Jim Morrison allegedly exposed himself on stage. Uh, in Miami, there's like there's no allegedly about it, right? Uh, no, no, it didn't really. Weren't there happen. plenty of witnesses that no, said there were? It was there, there was just a no well, well, set up, but they couldn't tell set up. He, he was singing or not. So how? You know, and the it's guy whipped to, his wiener, and it's hard to. But it's lizard. I'm it's, a great singer. I talk when I sing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's lizard genitalia. Two times, baby. I love the door shut. Lizard up. genitalia. Yeah. So if he pulls it off, it'll grow back. Mm -hmm, as he's the lizard king. <laughs> Can um, we get a pet lizard and chop the tail off? See if it grows back. Nope. No. You've um, never caught a lizard and it's done that? Uh. -uh. It's weird. Okay. The uh, <laughs> they called him the chopper. Frederick Chopin, born oh. in the state in 1810. Oh, yeah, they chopper. sure did. Mm. Yeah, um, chopper. Here comes chopper, they'd say. Yeah. What is he at a bad etude? Play a little uh, <laughs> piano for us. Um, how about this one? Uh, Glenn Miller, born 1904. I'm in the mood to hear a little Glenn Miller. Oh, oh, very, very good. Very good. Nice. Thank you very much. Um, Moonlight Serenade. Oh, some greats uh, born in the state. 1910, David Niven. Yes. Uh, incredibly British. Uh, is he okay <laughs> if I never saw... Um, what? A, the, a movie David Niven was in that you'd like. Is, isn't he in the Rockwell? original uh, Pink Panther? What, what was the question? Isn't he in the original Pink Wouldn't Panther? Wouldn't you know if you like David Niven, you'd know what movie he was in oh, instead of boy. asking the question? Here we go. Fair enough. Thank you. <laughs> a lot of Tom, your thoughts. I don't, that, not, On the uh, bloated David Niven. <laughs> <laughs> How about this guy? I, I love this guy. Paul Hollywood. Oh, I like him Who's too. Paul Hollywood. I'm not familiar. Was, from the Great British Bake Off. Oh, oh don't no. you watch that show? I don't. No, no really. Sorry. With, with all of your, yeah, I know. But uh, people keep telling me uh, that I should watch it, and I think that's part of the reason I don't. He's so goofy. I love that guy. Mm. I'd okay. rather watch uh, Emma Watson and have the break British whack. <laughs> <laughs> really? I heard she had an yes. operation. Oh, really? Yeah, she got a tail added and had her boobs in there. Oh. She's doing a Dickens adaptation? Yeah, do a tale of two. Time now for things we learned on the show today, brought to you by the all-new Hyundai 2024 Santa Fe, equipped for adventure with capable features like available H-Track all-wheel drive and... Is there a porn star called... Standard third-row This seating. is a, a commercial. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's Hyundai. That's the name of the company. and won't we'll be paying for this. Hyundai. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I was just... Do I like them. the phrase equipped for adventure, though? I yeah. drive a Hyundai. I love them. I'm equipped for adventure. Are you? Yes. Yeah. I like equipped for adventure, and I like capable features. Yes. Yeah. That means business. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit today. It is March 1st, despite the fact that Tom doesn't know what day it is. Tom Brady. Uh, ran a 40 faster than he did when he was drafted 20 years ago in the NFL, and it has captivated Tom Griswold. <laughs> yes, it has. All morning. He I think it's great. It just shows. I mean, he's, he's, his nice. level of, athletic, of athleticism right. is uh, up there, and uh, mm -hmm. he... Uh, my, my dog is more athletic than Tom Brady. Oh, really? <laughs> Pat Godwin. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he'd be happy to tell you from his private jet. Did not juggling Super Bowl rings. Pat Godwin did not get engaged yesterday. No, no I'm so bummed. I'm so sorry, Pat. Yeah, no, you guys will get back together, I'm sure. We're they still didn't. together. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I guess I should... Oh, should I, chick, we shouldn't have slept with her last night. Yeah, I have a... <laughs> I haven't gotten it. Boy, I'm going to hear about that one. <laughs> I should. We gave her the old Eiffel Tower, didn't we? Oh, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> and uh, I... We'd say after 20 minutes. And if there's one thing you need to remember about today's show, yeah. sometime this weekend I'm getting a new robe. Yes. Very exciting. And I'm going to be in said robe for the rest of the week. Are you going to take a photograph and post it? And... Oh, yes. Okay. If the robe arrives, I will take a picture and put it up on my... Instagram. What I was going to say, Josh, is there a, a, a erotic flick called A Tale of Two Daddies? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't be in that section out of the renting those. I don't, not for me, necessarily. Would they have to be stepdaddies? None of those pornos step work. I'm not oh, sure. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> for a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see